Welcome back to another episode of Gaming Podcast, episode 55. You never know what you're going to see here. Camille has something in a tiny jar and a dog in there. Where were that? The dog's like the... here, but now she's blocking where I am, so I can't move my chair back. I'm just oh, look at a doggo right over there. And we got Riley go. back. Japan brought him back. Thank you, Japan, for taking care of Riley. <laughs> Riley, how's it going? He almost yeah. got lost down there. He almost got I lost. I like personally thank Japan. I like to personally thank the entire thank country. Riley Japan. <laughs> he, he, he Riley almost got in. lost walking to a bunch of random buildings trying to find a Death Stranding pop-up. <laughs> yeah, I was hopping into every 7-Eleven looking for Hideo. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, Hideo's like just randomly hanging out at 7-Eleven. Like, oh, hey, what do you think he um, gets at 7-Eleven? Eleven. Do you think he's a ramen guy? Do you I think, think he's a slurpy he's like a guy. guy. I think he's a slurpy guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he's totally a slurpy guy. A big gulp. I don't know. Big the gulp, sandwiches 100%. the Seven Elevens there just so go so hard. Like I've heard is that it also recently. like extremely cheap. Like, yes. like so, yes. yeah. so cheap. Yeah. If you're like a dollar, like, walk around. Yeah. You <laughs> go. I don't know. If it's like uh, it's like two bucks. It's two bucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's two crazy. Bucks. That's I need to go. Crazy. I need to go. Yeah. It's two bucks. Really cool. It's so good though. Alright. As far as like you just go into a Seven Eleven, you get you can buy like a Boss coffee, which is an aluminum can. Which is all, it's like incredible coffee, and then uh, you just grab a beer or something in a Seven Eleven, and you're just allowed to like walk around and drink it if you want. I, I, I've it's heard. Cool. Is there even like some of those where like there isn't a cashier? Like it's 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 purely just walk in. They have. Contact yeah, they have, have? Some autom- they have some automatic yeah. ones. Yeah, that's cool. It's wow. like self checkout oh. though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah, but that's not that doesn't sound as cool. You exactly. <laughs> well, when you say it, Camille, it sounds. It doesn't sound cool. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Riley, I heard you saw the new upcoming Switch. Yeah, yeah, I went hands on with the Switch too, guys. That was pretty. Knew it. Yes. <laughs> knew it. I knew that. No, I went. Oh my god! Breaking exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive. World well, premiere. Well, they said by the end of fiscal, so we're 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 closer now than we've ever been. Does the back Wait, going on you have that. the controller there the that uh, you can show us the thing that's on the chain? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. I went when I went to Kyoto. I got like a little. I got uh, a little fidget. Oh nice. The Japanese Super the Nintendo. No, Gen-Kai. that's the new controller for the Switch too. That's, that's the Switch. Switch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really right now. <laughs> the Switch. Yeah. So it's poor time. Cool. Firstly, Riley, poor timing because the Nintendo Museum, you missed it. I so I yeah I mean Why I, I tried uh, usatorily like that I, like, I know how dare you up. how dare you get Riley? married how dare so you go on your get the hell out of here I really I really tried get out I, I really tried I asked Nintendo PR if if uh, it was possible and they and they're like no sorry and then I saw today that people were going I was like damn like I just missed it by that much wait people so, are going in today yeah today yeah, yeah I saw some influencers got flown out to check it out son Not of a this bitch. guy. You know Doug. So that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Doug, you know Doug Dougie D. You know yeah. Dougie hey, D. Hey, I mean, knowing Doug means nothing. I like I, Doug said hi to me on my birthday, and yeah, Doug I can't thought get my, my that, was, actual... that was my fault. Okay, I dragged him over. <laughs> Doug thought my actual last name was Caboose. It was a pretty great. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a pretty great I, moment. I, I said, "Here's Aaron Caboose." Yeah. And he was like, your parents named you Caboose? And I was like, what's going on here? Is that the guy named Bowser wants to have a conversation about names. Your, your dog is having a great time back there. I, I'm waiting for the dog to just be like, I'm just going to poop right here. This is what's going to happen. I was like... <laughs> That's the thing when it's like, so my sister has like a different routine with Remy than I'm used to, like when mm. we had our dog. So I'm just always like, Remy, what are you up to? Yeah. Oh yeah. Whenever uh, like they're, they're getting a little crazy or they're on like the zoomies. Did you, do you just put on Death Stranding to like, no, <laughs> because like, she out? wanted, she wanted to like go on a walk. Have you heard those tunes? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Those are walking tunes. Death Stranding's walking tunes, all right? Oh, yeah. She'll, she'll <laughs> go on a walk, a long, long That's the closest you'll ever get to admitting that it's a walking simulator. But, yeah, you know, it's some, yeah, show some gameplay of Death Stranding. The dog will feel just like it's going on a walk. You know, That's no true. Problem. That's yeah. true. Speaking of which, which I, uh, okay, I'll talk about companions when we get to that news story, which I think we're going to cover. But Yeah. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides that, Riley, everything else is good? <laughs> Yeah, everything everything's right. good. I got oh. yeah, got married, so that's why I was in Japan. Well, that's, yeah, that's congrats. congrats! Thank you, Yay. thank you. Yeah, no, that's, that's old news now. 
That's old. It's old hat. It's old hat. Get that thing away. What is that? It's so cute. My cryobite. Ask her where she found it. Yeah, where'd you find it, Camille? What's going on? Tell us your story. Back of a 7 Eleven. Next to the coffee. That sounds shady as fuck. That's the back of a 7 Eleven. Some guy at the back of a 7 Eleven in Japan. You got some crime bites right there. Yeah. Yeah. You got Hideo with like the sawed off, like yeah. held over his shoulder, the sunglasses on. <laughs> what do you buy? What do you buy? What are you selling? Uh, Camille, how are you doing? Besides dog sitting and I'm doing one day good. of Twitchcon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing good. Honestly, TwitchCon was so much fun. It was great to r bravely run into Caboose and yeah. walk a little bit of the floor with Marcel. And then I was like, oh, we'll see you tonight, Caboose. Never happened. No. Never. So, no. Never happened. Um, I didn't even yeah. know you were there. <laughs> like, so okay. We were in the same yeah, room, I Steve. Run, I didn't even run into Steve. <laughs> Camille does the best thing ever. She's like, where are you at right now? I'm like, oh, we're at Arcade Monster. Well, I'm at a rooftop. I'm like, okay. No, and I said a secret. I said no. I said I said I'm at a secret rooftop party. I don't know how I got here, kind of thing. I'm like, and then you're like, you mean I, the block party? And I was like, yeah, like no, I it's a TwitchCon party. It, it was over the block yeah, that's party. That's not a secret. Everyone can see it. And like the CEO <laughs> of Twitch was there. I was hanging out with Zero. Um, I think you were at the TwitchCon party. No, the no CEO was there. this this wasn't a no. This was they were serving sushi for free and drinks for free. I don't know if I trust sushi for like free sushi. Well, no, this is a re like it's a bar, a rooftop bar. So like there, again, it's I don't know like if I trust. It's, it's not like at the back of a Seven Eleven. Was it the roof of the Hard Rock? Yeah. No, it, no, oh. because I left the Hard Rock to go to this place. Damn. Um, and I don't know how I got there, um, but it was lots hey, of fun. As long as you, you don't know oh how you got to a bar that had free sushi. That's no, a honestly, I, I, I got into the block party. Like we had to go through the block party in order to get to this bar and then go to the rooftop. But it was like through some like alley back entrance Kitchen. Hideo Kojima with the shotgun Kojima, over his shoulder. Yeah. And then yeah. it was the like sunglasses yeah. on. And then it was what like you, you go up <laughs> you go up an elevator and we were there at this party. I had no idea. But it was it was lots of fun. Um I got Ooh, to okay. see like um I got to see Yipes, like some people from the FGC I haven't seen in a while. I got to see Kenny. Marcel and I ran into Kenny I'm on really, the show yeah, floor, yeah, yeah. uh dressed up in his Indiana, Jones. Indiana Jones, yeah. Jones attire. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I feel like Remy wants to go out, so I may do that. I just, All I right. just love anytime Camille's describing a place she's gone. It's like she's discovered Narnia. Like, hey, like, don't get yeah. mad at me because I love every no one's experience mad. Like life no one's gives, mad. Right? I'm furious. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> is Although, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I actually did go a place that kind of felt like you were going into Narnia. Really? <laughs> right. I'm like now irate. Now irate. That, you, that, the, that, I, that I hate Narnia. Narnia. <laughs> Damn Narnia. So, uh, I was out, like, I was out with the... Um, uh, I was out of, uh, with two friends, and we went out for dinner. We actually went to this one place. It was a speakeasy where you have to kind of go down, uh, down to, like a flight of steps in order to be able to get into. Uh, it was called uh, Trailer Park After Dark. Um, oh, and geez. it's like legit, like a full on, like redneck American heaven. Uh, it's like what they <laughs> <laughs> Narnia. That's uh, well, Narnia. Hold on. Right? No, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. But it was like, <laughs> it, uh, I actually, uh, so then afterwards, uh, our friend that took us there said, here's another speakeasy just down the street. And we walk in, and there's like basically like a, a, the, the, you walk down this flight of stairs, and it just looks like you're you're standing in front of like a a hedge, uh, like a like a like a very manicured hedge. And then you actually open, like, there's actually a door in there, and you open it up, and you walk inside, and it's all like plants and just a he like uh, awesome. like 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 you're walking through like this sort of like hallway of of just like a an archway of uh, I don't know, but like hedges, like it basically looks like you're walking into a forest. And you walk in, it's basically like a like a um, Alice in Wonderland themed uh, bar, uh, and well, it's just that's like so cool. yeah, it was pretty neat. We kind of uh, we just kind of like just took a quick little uh, tour in there, and then uh, and then and just kind of left. But it was just yeah, nice. so. cool. Yeah, By the way, my... I, I I did run into Steve. You just didn't know I was there. We were in the same room. 
Okay, way to make fun of my blindness there, Camille. Like, I can see you. Oh, great, thanks. I've never been angrier than I, I am. Didn't you, were, you, were, uh, you, were actually rec- you were actually recording, and we didn't want to, like, just jump in, in the middle. Oh, I didn't even know he was recording. I just thought. Oh, that's what oh, you were doing. Oh, I, wait, you came in when I was recording something? In the- I think it was, you were no, talk- you're was, talking to Thor. I was talking to Thor. the guild, the women's the Unity guild? Lounge. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. were yeah. Okay, you had like the camera. Your friend was like filming you, so we thought yeah. we were recording something. I was uh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so that's yeah. we so there yeah. you go. We so, actually, I stopped yeah. there from embarrassing oh. yourself. Okay, <laughs> but I somehow oh made it into the picture for the Black Guild. I'm oh, not that's Black when Guild. you were there. Oh yeah, that room yeah, got that, loud. Real, it got quick. loud. Yeah. yeah, and there was a oh panel going on next door. And they're like, we can't even talk. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't li- like I've listened a little bit to the recording from that, and it was just. Like thank goodness I had noise canceling on because my god that was loud. But anyway. loud like like people were yelling at each other loud or loud. It was just, just like, like a very like went, loud right, uh, it up. crowd. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was my first ever TwitchCon. Um no I was I, doing oh, San Diego gosh. Comic Con the year prior. I was like, "Oh my god, this convention center it, it, it cannot facilitate like this many people. I don't know if they're going to be able to." And then I walked in and I was like, "Oh, it's like the attendance numbers just don't even it's not even close no <laughs> but um Honestly, it, was it worked nice. out better that way yes i totally yeah. agree it was nice to like have a bit of freedom being able to walk around and see everything um and i, I mean i love san diego it's a beautiful city and i had a good time uh i i feel like i i if i would ever go to twitchcon again it would be for the people less than it would be for like the convention you know absolutely uh, mm-hmm. um which i feel like maybe most people that's that's kind of the whole thing right um, but I'm not like super into a ton of streamers, so I'm not there to like meet a lot of them. There so were pretty couple... much what he's saying he's never going there for the people. Well, probably or... not. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never seen you ever again. <laughs> but but like okay. there's there's some panels that looked pretty funny from the, some of the clips I saw online. But it was a good time. I had a good time, but I'm happy to be back. And yeah. we we got some stuff to talk we got about. A lot hey. of stuff to talk about. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. One of them. I'm but I will say though. I, I want to say one thing. I I'd like to kind of, in all seriousness. I do wish I, I I did see you, Aaron and, and Camille. <laughs> That's at, all right, man. TwitchCon. I was like, I was, I was hoping we could have like the Canadian crew We're just get, see get each together. Other but... tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, true. Okay, but uh, mm-hmm. you know, we, we would have been fun to be able to see each other in San Diego. I'm San Diego sorry. Diego over would have been great. I mean, yeah. you saw me. I know that's what I'm saying specifically, Aaron. And <laughs> yeah, Camilo but like, come on, Marcel. Like, let's be real. Marcel, I don't need to apologize to you because I, I saw you a bunch, which was great. I, I, just, I got tired of it. I'm like, Steve, Ryan, again, you're firing yes, on Steve. all cylinders today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm so angry. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, that's fine. I'll just be the angry guy today. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> uh, I just want to talk about the whole uh, what happened yesterday. There was so much in the announcements, especially with the whole Sonic thing. I just want to talk about it very quickly. The Sonic Cross uh, Shadow Generation is coming out really soon. Uh, but then they have a wicked update that Keanu Reeves. They're putting all the like the special yes. stage in from the movie and Keanu Reeves' voice in it as well, which is really cool as well. That's and then so Aaron, cool. I, I, there's a nice little tie into our next story as well, which. Uh, I think you'd be start, you're gonna start covering some Sonic stuff, right? Because the Sonic and DC crossover. Oh, yeah, there was like yeah. some, some, some Shadow Batman Batman. Day promotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonic yeah. as the Flash, you know. But they yeah. still DC still won't touch Batman Beyond, but Sonic, but Sonic. But Sonic is this my lead Batman. Into it. Not only that, not only that they're doing a one year comic uh, story. They're even they already confirmed two years. Damn. That's so a bigger like, wow, Give really? us Even another Batman one. Beyond. <laughs> like, I love Sonic. Give us just anything on. Batman Beyond that well, isn't the animated series. You know what I mean? Guess what? Like, Rock said he is working on something reportedly. This rumor has it. And yeah. I don't know if you have any additional information. I yeah, want Aaron, a Batman how, Beyond. How valid are Riley, Riley doesn't. Riley doesn't want a Batman Beyond. What? That's what he said before the show. He's I don't like, think, oh, no, they're not. That's what you said. Yeah. I think they go. I think you go back to OG Batman. You're just trying to take just the the anger to. Uh, uh, you know. We're gonna rage. I, I'm gonna have smoke man, coming out of my ears. Man, 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 man. Um, but yeah, so I guess I guess the report right now is that from Special Nick, um, because it was it was a game. The Game Awards Twitter just said, "Who is your dream developer for another Batman game?" And like a bunch of people are throwing out names. Like I, I saw people saying from software. I was like that. You, you kind of get the usual suspects, like Insomniac or or Naughty Dog, right? Um, but Special Nick reported, he, he quote tweeted and said, I don't know what everybody else's dream Batman game is, but apparently he heard that Rock said he's coming back to Batman. Now, I listen, 
I'll say this much. Obviously, Suicide Squad was uh, it tanked. It didn't meet any of the expectations of the, the players. I mean, critics, it it didn't sell as well to as, as WB had hoped. Um, and it would make a lot of sense, even if you weren't an insider, to think, well, Rock City would probably want to just go back to the basics on their next endeavor. Um, and if they're going to be the 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 Insomniac games for WB, if you will, um, then what they got to be doing is keep making more DC games. I am bummed out that it's just more Batman. But yeah, if you're going to do more Batman, the, the logical next step for the franchise really is Batman Beyond. Like if you're yeah. going to do another Arkham game, you mm -hmm. just got to do Batman Beyond. It, it's it, you, you jump forward in the future. You know, we don't got to worry about or really acknowledge some of the events of the story in Suicide Squad. I mean, the latest season's already pretty much confirming that they're bringing the Justice League back. So Kevin Conroy's they're still, Batman. And they're still continuing with that too, right? They're gonna probably. I mean, it's, they've been pretty, it's been pretty quiet. I, I <laughs> hope. I hope we'll we'll see. But even even with like the return of the Flash in the latest season, it's like a 10 second cutscene, and and I'm kidding you not. After that, it's like a slideshow. Like it's just yeah. a couple uh, of images uh. of them bringing him back to the Hall of Justice. Um, and so that's probably what's going to happen over the next couple of seasons. Just mainly because I imagine, like at this point, it's like a skeleton crew working on the game and. and they're just trying to get everything out the door to, to be done with it. Um, but yeah, like Batman Beyond just makes so much sense for the franchise. Give me and the intro to Batman Beyond, too. I want that as well. Right. <laughs> you know there. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah give me like so a more good. futuristic like, city. Bring back the Arkham yeah. combat. All of that stuff. That's Here, here's no, the question. Knows the dance. <laughs> yeah, the dance. Here's the question. Who, who, do they get, who do they get to play Terry? And who do they get to pl uh, play old Bruce Wayne? That is the that is the million dollar question. Um, I think that uh, it, it being an older Bruce Wayne, as of uh, if they were to do a, a Batman yeah. Beyond, gives them a bit of um, more freedom. Yeah, more yeah, freedom. it gives yeah. them a bit of, for lack of a better term, like an out. Obviously, after the the tragedy of having lost Kevin Conroy, right. no one's ever going to do that voice better. And in a perfect world, he still could probably do like an older yeah, Bruce Wayne would. so good, so well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. It being older would mean that they have some some options to to go in terms of casting. I'm not Who, sure what you think. You know who one is like Craig, Craig Smith, would be? Right? Roger Craig Smith is the other Roger voice. Craig, Roger Craig yes. yes. You know who would be my absolute pie in the sky casting for for old Bruce Wayne? Hit me. I mean, here's the thing. You got rocks. You got Rocksteady. So they got. So they, they they even with Suicide so Suicide Squad, they still got some cash. Yep. They're working with WB. WB's worked with a lot a lot of people. I'm saying. What the fuck? Like, why not bring Michael Keaton? <laughs> oh, for like the older Bruce Wayne? Yeah, I mean that that he was, was supposed to play that with with Batgirl. Exactly. I, I mean, mean, at one point or another, they were even pitching doing like an older Bruce Wayne sort of thing, Batman Beyond sort of thing, with him playing that role. I mean, that would be awesome. I mean, if you pitch that to James Gunn, he'd be like, "Hell yeah! Like, yeah. let's 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 bring in Michael Keaton to do it. Like, that would yeah. be dope as hell." It's just that I wonder if that creates like a level of confusion given James Gunn's comments about wanting Separating. to have this massive yeah. interconnective thing. Ah, Are people then going to think yeah, like, oh, yeah. is that Keaton's Batman who's yeah. now in the Arkham Bat? Like, like it, it is. You could do it in a way that it wouldn't necessarily like people would think that uh, that like if they make it clear that it, like this isn't the '89 Tim Burton Batman, Michael like Bruce Wayne kind of yeah. Batman. That yeah. this is just we are like we are honoring the leg the 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 legacy of Batman and bringing in Michael Keaton as old Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Uh, like I, I think that that would be dope as heck. Now, of course, perfect world, Kevin Conroy, one hundred percent, because he played it in, in the original in the animated series. That's so, right. but I, I think it, it, like I think if you want to go stunt casting, I mean, hell, like Cyberpunk was able to pull it off with Keanu Reeves. True. Let's pull it off with Michael Keaton yeah. and Idris Elba. And it'll just help exactly, True. and True. that's CDPR money. I mean, imagine if, the, if WB finally put some more money into the video game division. I mean, Keanu on. Reeves is in Sonic too, so I mean, like, I feel like that's that, But see, that, he's that the only one that would do. Like, he is the actor. I guess you could qualify him as an A-list actor, right? He would. Be yeah, but you get this as a challenge. But he is. To, he is the yeah. one that would be like, yes, I'm going into because it, it, okay. Let's be real. It probably wouldn't have the graphics like something like Death Stranding, so it won't have like that film auteur kind of yes. feel, yes. right? Um, which would attract like those types of celebrities. I don't know. I, I think, th I think like 
because Keanu Reeves is just so such a gem willing to do all of that like video game stuff it just because like he probably enjoys it I think it's probably harder to get another A-list actor to yes. do something like this I, I would agree to a certain point but I think like if you put this as a challenge to Michael Keaton being like okay all you're doing like because he's done he's done voice acting before it's not like this is this would be his first time but being able to play Bruce Wayne with just his like and Batman with just his voice, like that could be a f- like to him. I would see that like I would see him thinking that that could be a fun challenge. Like, hey, if I can't do uh, the the stunts anymore, and, and like obviously the Warner Brothers isn't going to get me to do it in, in a live action anymore. Same like space, I could do this for a while. Yeah, but see, yeah, like cool. I don't know uh, if totally. his voice to me. Like, I know, like, he is, like, like I like Michael Keaton Batman, don't get me wrong, but in a video game where I cannot see Michael Keaton, even if they do, like, his likely, like, his likelihood, uh, or his likeness, yeah. um, I don't know if his voice is, like, that strong enough to, like, make an impact of, like, this is old man Batman to be, like, that recognizable. Uh, I think I his voice think now would be. Like, I, if I, it was also, back then, no. But now it would be. I think there's been a lot of really good voices for Batman as well in the past. I mean, we've sure. had Bruce Greenwood who did the voice in uh, He would be Under good too. Hood. Yeah. yeah. Be fantastic. Frank Weller did the voice for the Dark Knight Returns animated films. He is a great older Batman, a more grizzled sounding Batman. Yeah, he'd be um, good But too. even even Jensen Ackles just recently yeah. was the voice True. of Batman in one of these animated movies and he did a really good job. So honestly, I think all in all, there's a lot of options out there. And I'm just saying in general, if they are making another Batman game, if it is going to be Arkham, which it most likely will be. Um, you just gotta go Batman Beyond. It's been the it's been the dream, like fan speculated. You know the game that everybody in the art community has wanted. It, it, like, if you're gonna beat the dead horse, then like give give, it, give the fans, <laughs> yeah, give the fans what they've been asking for. That also allows you the opportunity to kind of play with uh, an empty canvas. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and also Arkham, like a, a bit of a like trying to really you know going back into into other like sort of familiar territory a little bit like see what like harley quinn would be like now or yes, like maybe even yeah. like what the joker would have ended up being like right. that kind of thing like his legacy because uh what like i think that that gives like the people rocksteady like a little bit of like freedom to like what they had hoped to do with suicide squad they would have to bring back joker right well, they probably would if they're going to. They do did only the once with the animated from, movie with Return yeah. of the Joker, but they in the series it was just the Joker gang. Which yeah, yeah. But I'm I mean, like, like, I'm okay if they did that. No, like if Rocksteady was able to do this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they would bring back like Mark Hamill. No, he said Joker, he wouldn't. Right? Mark Hamill said that as long as it like if it if it, I know if it was he, with Kevin I know Conroy, he said he, he wouldn't. However, given it is not, it's an old man Batman. Like I, I wonder if, if that that would change. Oh fuck! Ooh. You know that's not that's not oh. the worst idea in the I, world. I, I, no, that, that is not. Be, but I, 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 I'm super talented yeah. voice actor. But I think he was the I, I love the idea. But I think he would he would he would think that that would be a tarnishing to Kevin's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or would he be like, this is when, like my final way to honor him. Maybe. Or, mm, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um. But in general, like I'm, I'm hyped. Man, I'm, I'm Batman Beyond game. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Like, that's basically what it comes down to. <laughs> I, I'm hyped. I still got faith in Rocksteady. You know, like I, I know that team is talented. And even when you when you play Suicide Squad, if you're looking at it uh, w- without just the, um, the 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 glasses that that a lot of people wear when they when they play a game that that has like females in it or something, um, if you look at it as a normal person, <laughs> um, then you'll you can acknowledge like visually it's pretty nice you know like traversal is pretty great um the gunplay Mm. is fun the i mean the world of metropolis is well realized it's empty but if you're a fan of the comics and you like if you know that city like they they hit a lot of landmarks they hit the vibe of metropolis and so like what i'm trying to say is like the folks at rock city like still know how to make a good game um at least i believe and their reputation still precedes themselves. They made three incredible, like an amazing franchise with the Arkham games. They they had one misfire, that like a three to one. I don't like, even it, think you could compare the two because it's, it, Suicide Squad kills Justice League is such a different game completely than the different. Arkham. Yeah, I think yeah. if they were to have it like if this is what they wanted to do and like they want to go back to the Arkham franchise and create a game that is like a first person, uh, like, sorry, a single, 
experience, like adventure yeah. experience, uh, yeah. action adventure experience, I think like they would totally knock it out of the park. Yeah. Um, Even so just off the it, premise that we would go back to the Arkham combat, like I think yeah. that yeah. alone is enough of a selling point for people to be like, I'm in. You know, if the story is just okay, at least we got really good yeah. gameplay back and, in here. You know, and Rocksteady still has a good enough reputation that if they just if they said they're going back to Arkham, like that would be enough to be the kind of not necessarily erase Suicide Squad from people's minds, but they'd be like, okay, we we tr we trusted Rocksteady again. We we know they could be able to pull it off. Let's see what they got. If and I Suicide Squad is like the harsh tequila that you really didn't like, a new Batman game would be the chaser that you have right you now. Go. You know, that's, that's the, the, the that's lemon good. or lime, right? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, here's, here's hoping that that is going to be the case. Uh, again, I think even if you weren't an insider, it's a pretty good guess to make that they would go back to Batman. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just a matter of, I guess, when, and we're probably not going to hear about it officially for like five years. So do we think that oh. there is a game in between that though? Do we think that nah. it is like from Rocksteady? No, no, not, not, not from across, Rocksteady, uh, but a Batman, Batman game. Well, we got Arkham shadow coming. Yeah, but I mean, like <laughs> another okay, another third person action adventure oh, okay, Batman okay. games, what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I really don't. If, if yeah. what they're doing is Batman, I don't foresee that WB Games pulls another Arkham Origins. Wasn't like, there a rumor of the Matt Reeves Batman getting a game at some I think point? That was there was. Yeah. Oh, that's James right. Gunn he did dismiss that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Be Plus, cool, I though. think like because of like raw like with Suicide Squad, it's kind of like deemed as a failure. Like it would be a lot of risk for them to put out a game in between of another rock steady Arkham esque game. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Where the hell is oh, Wonder Woman? Woman. <laughs> What's, like, yeah. I know, I know. I just, I just remember Wonder Woman. I'm like, wait, where's Wonder Woman? <laughs> well, the second I have, half I of have that two of my friends working We're on it, and I don't, I don't know. Where she is. The second half of that report too. I just want to touch on it was that PlayStation yeah. might be trying to make it at least yes. exclusive. Yes. Oh, really? Uh, I, can, I, I can see I, the I time. Not. I can see the time exclusivity, but I, I'll be honest. I don't put a whole lot of stock in PlayStation going for full exclusivity. No, I don't no. think they're playing either. so nice with Marvel with Spider Man and now Wolverine that I feel like they want to continue to foster that relationship rather than say, "Hey, we're also pulling in DC." You but know, what I, I feel mean? like yeah. it'd be like a console exclusivity. So it'd be like release for um, like, uh, like like PlayStation Five PlayStation and, PC. and PC and PC, and then uh, like a timed exclusivity. Just because like again, looking at PlayStation's calendar and what we don't know, like I do I don't feel know, like. For that word. That's I wouldn't. But like, yeah, I feel like they would need to pull in, uh, and I think because my hesitation is, we still, after this state of play, we still don't know what's next for PlayStation um, in terms of games. We don't have the know. full scope. No, yeah. right. so I feel right. like it would have to be something on the premise of like they need to get more exclusives that are outside PlayStation ah. Studios in order to really help Again, I, I, I can blame I, 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 why you need a PlayStation console. I can see a future where we get timed exclusivity on it, yeah. but I think I think what it's probably going to boil down to is just the marketing rights. And I mean, a lot of WB games usually end up in the hands of PlayStation for marketing. Um, I mean, Hogwarts Legacy is another perfect example. That was Not definitely for, P PS for PlayStation for sure. Play. But they're that's why I think the that hell out of it on on, on the PS5 Pro. As that's well, why right? I think um, at WB. I don't think that they would do uh, console exclusivity because they've always been more of a third party publisher. That's true. And uh, and Monolith is is like I, I, I actually I would say like WB would just is just looking for just based off of their business practices a lot. Like where where can we get the most money? Oh, let's yes. put it out everywhere. Yep. Um, I would. I you know what you said is like not out of the realm of possibility. I could definitely see PlayStation like okay, like WB being like okay, PlayStation, you want this? You got to pay X amount of dollars to do it. Yeah, and PlayStation would be willing to buy it uh, for or It'd pay for that game, price. Yeah. But um, I, I still, I still think it's probably going to be a mobile, mobile, mobile also, platform launch. You also got to understand too that from PlayStation's perspective, the last Rocksteady game that just released was again a critical and financial failure, and yeah. so for them, it, it's it's a heavy investment and quite a risk to then say, all right, we're going to Rocksteady and we're gonna we're gonna hold on to the rights of their next game because you already know even if it's Batman Arkham. Obviously, like a lot of people are going to be really hyped. They're going to be very excited, but there is going to be a level of skepticism and there's going to be people going in like cautiously optimistic, maybe because the, because what happened with Suicide Squad for a lot of people 
has made them has soured the taste of Rocksteady. You know what I mean? Like for them, they're like, well, their last game wasn't very good. You know what I mean? So, so while a majority of people, I imagine, won't think that way, there still will be a crowd that, yeah. that will have that sentiment. But, but yeah. in that sense, right? Anything I feel like Rocksteady puts out in terms of Batman game at this point or DC game will have that level of skepticism yes. to it where it could actually make sense for them because it was like a financial failure for them as well. If they're able to get a good chunk of money by making this thing exclusive, a time exclusive for a console, at least they're able to secure the bag there. If like anything, in terms PlayStation of like, mitigate risk. But play, yeah. PlayStation mm -hmm. uses, play, if anything, if PlayStation is really gunning for that exclusivity, they use Suicide Squad's performance as leverage to be like, this uh, is why we're true, not spending true, as much true. money. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, but it's just again, then it then the balls in WB's court. I think like, too, do they, yeah. do they take that deal? Yeah, I think too. It's like it's interesting because this is this is like pretty normal for PlayStation, and they've done it a lot this gen in particular. We know before the Bethesda acquisition, like they secured like the exclusivity for like Deathloop for a year and stuff like that. Yep. They've done yeah. it for Final Fantasy. Maybe some other factors have prevented that from appearing on Xbox so far. Maybe that'll change soon, but uh, like they're not, they're never against like locking down a game for a year, six months, some, some sort of like level of exclusivity. And if you have Spider-Man and Batman, like that's a pretty killer one too. Those are two of the biggest IPs on the planet. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. that, that, if, if, it, if Xbox wasn't already like losing the race, that would be like, uh, that would maybe not be the nail in the coffin, but it would be a nail. Yeah, it would yeah. be one of those nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. And if you're WB, like you're going to entertain that offer because like it totally mitigates the risk. Yeah, yeah, like it's like, oh, okay, we can guarantee this yes. amount of cash flow. And then, you know, PlayStation, this seems to work well for Spider Man. So we yeah. can bring it to PC and this and that. And that would then be eventually insane. Xbox. I'll be nuts. Imagine yeah. I just if wonder. has that exclusive. And yeah, I wonder if it's like. I well, just wonder. I what... mean, what Marvel, would Marvel would have to what, yeah. would Marvel, yeah. think would Marvel it, you know? but then also like it is you know you know the comic book world caboose like that happens quite often where yeah. Marvel and DC play pretty friendly um in terms of where they're releasing things and who they're releasing uh things with so it's kind of like the comics would be or the video games would be mocking like the comic book structure um so I I'm just curious to see like how they handle that. And if Marvel's yeah. like a little bit uh, looser with like the video game rights um, and in terms of being exclusively the only superhero franchise well, on a console, it, then I feel like they may just be. Okay what if, it. what if PlayStation and Marvel, they're just, they're, they're having these little petty in their relationship. They're having these no, petty don't arguments. Say that. You know, oh, that's just like we're random break played on Xbox and PlayStation's like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, we're getting Batman on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> DC. But honestly, but I, like, look at Marvel's <laughs> playing. Marvel's <laughs> been playing very nice with like no, they have, Epic they have. as well, they have, yeah. right? Yeah. So like, even Capcom, like you look at that Epic Eddie's. relationship, they have DC <laughs> no. superheroes in there as well in just, Fortnite. Uh, so it's like it's not a far stretch to see two a rivalry superhero like uh, properties on one console as exclusivities yeah i think yeah. that that's just not like disney's mo for their properties because i mean we saw what happened with lucasfilm and and ea the fact that they couldn't be able to put together a star wars like the star wars game over the course of like 10 years barely yeah. uh and that contract kind of fell through so i think it's just it just seems as if like everything is kind of all under the disney gaming roof of marvel lucasfilm whatever i think that they're just like hey who if you whatever studio can come up with a great concept and be able to pay for, for the sure. license then, for sure. then let's do it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah um i do want to talk about something small that happened yesterday the place the state of play this conversation we just had doesn't prove the fact that uh, we should have a, a comics com a podcast at some point. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. The, I'm just down the for comic it. Anyway. Book, a comic book network. Just extend it from the same network, you know? Same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had some... Uh, I will do, I'll go through the quick things. I still can't believe they're making DLC slow for... Uh, Ninja Turtles, by the way, but a game too no yeah. characters and True. Yeah. I mean, this game's good. It's a great game. I'm not like knocking the game. It's just like they're still Turtles doing fun. stuff. You hate it. 
Yeah. I hate the game. Zero. You hate it. I hate this game. Oh I my knew God. it. I knew it. Um, Min- the Midnight Walk made by the same people by Lost and Random. Super cool artwork. Is PS finally a PS uh, VR game as well, but also on yeah. PS uh, on uh, PlayStation Five and also on PC as well. One, two. Stellar Blade is getting near Automata. Uh, Let's just add it as a mod and oh, and photo mode. Who can forget that? Every all all the boys wanted. It. Yeah, very dangerous. That's a true. lot of a lot of R's gonna be lost there. That's for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this company needs a funny uh, enough. They're also releasing a one-handed mode for Stellar Blade, but uh, <laughs> so that's uh, nothing to do with it. There, uh, hey, you know, you know, that's that's uh, for uh, the. The, the Blue Knight con- podcast, okay? Uh, but possibility <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, setting too. Like, oh, I that, in there. <laughs> that with photo mode, I don't know, man. But uh, this company, they need money for legal reasons. Power World is now available on uh, on PlayStation. I couldn't believe I that showed up during the state of play. <laughs> that was that crazy. Pull, <laughs> I'm surprised fast. they didn't pull that trailer from this state of play. No, like, you know what? Let's, let's lay low for a wow. bit and just pull this uh, trailer and you know, just money. secretly release it. Well, did that you, is the money. Did you guys see but that? Uh, the more it's platforms are available. Oh, it's yeah. 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 But the, that's the thing. It's like more platforms are available. The more money you're actually giving the company you're being sued by more opportunity to get the money back get Power more money yeah. you, right so it's like they are lawyers that's the thing. edition it's like why <laughs> would they I, I don't know it's very interesting choice to i wonder still what's continue. the cost of a playstation with power on it you bring to japan would anyone want to buy it Oh, we like, interesting. Wow, I don't. I wonder, <laughs> you, I you can totally tell this. This 100 percent was so that they could be able to get, like, get money for their lawyers. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, they, have, Sony yeah. has like a major partnership with the Pal World. Yeah, uh, people too. Oh, like, do they? they want the license? Oh, was Xbox? No, no. So, well, they do. They did, but uh, they co-launched then, a licensing firm with Pocket Pair yeah. to license out uh, the music and characters and stuff for different products. Um, so that arriving on PlayStation was like an inevitability oh, at some point because of that, mm. because they are in business together, which I think is going to be interesting to see how the lawsuit pans out with Nintendo because PlayStation's also, if we, as we saw in the direct or the, the state of play, uh, Lego horizons also coming to Nintendo switch. Oh, so there's yeah. like a lot yeah. of yeah. going That's on. True. Yeah. They didn't mention it in the show, obviously, but you know, but it is coming. But, uh, I wonder if it was a thing where, like, maybe like the developers from Power would be like, "Yo, so you know that trailer we gave you for the State of Way, State of Play? Can you just like not do that?" And they're like, "Yo, sorry, it's going." Oh, it's already premiere. premiered. It's my already, bad. It's <laughs> like it's like premiering. <laughs> already like, uploaded. In a few hours. Yeah, we can't my pull bad. that down. Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. You man, you just saw, like a black screen to be heard. Like you just heard the background during the whole show. You're like, "Hey, what's this?" And, anyway. Uh, Monster Hunter Wilds is coming out February 28th as well. I had a chance to play it at the uh, um, TwitchCon. It was highly recommended. It was really, yeah, really nice. great game. I took a picture on the little thing that they had there. Oh, oh Monster Hunter Wilds? That, that bird thing. The little bird, yes. They had someone there day and night watching after that bird during really? TwitchCon. You could it not leave that post. Seriously? That bird is expensive. It's an expensive bird. Damn. Uh, okay. Metro Awakening uh, VR is coming out. Lunar Remaster Collections. All the classic GRPG people are are back. Oh, there's Camille. There there's you the go. Bird. There's the bird. Yeah, I mean, oh, let me just do this right here. Do that one more time. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. A little bird action there. A little bird. A little wow. birdie. Expensive bird. Expensive. Um. Breaking news: New Picard tea cup set is now available. Thank you, uh, Steve. I was well. <laughs> Camille, but it's not. <laughs> that's why I thank her. Really, I was like, you know, wait, what? Uh, so, so Reaver one to re- one to remaster. I'm not gonna lie. This, I'm glad they brought this game back and they remastered. But like the whole like like the whole slider just seemed like we well, just made the game brighter. Like, what, like where's the remaster part? But anyway. it looked a little cleaner. The models looked a little cleaner. No. Hitman 2. Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was uh, it's coming on PSVR 2 as well. Very uh, funny uh, picture there. This game looked dope. This was what Death Stranding should have been. Hell is what? Us. Hell is Us was cool. Hell is so sick. This is the yeah. true Death Stranding. 
Whoa, this okay, pause. Really hot DLC pause. for Spider-Man 2 this looks, looks really cool. Okay, what it is. That's what I thought about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I'm, okay, I'm not going to... Hell is Us. Yeah, Hell is Us looks okay. good. Don't get me wrong. I the, That was my issue because it was obviously looks or so is good. obviously I trying know. to be Death Stranding. So the Hate graphics... Video game. The graphics, like, <laughs> just... I feel like... Can't live up to Death Stranding, though. Can't do that, Kojima. And I'm curious, like, what they're going to try to do with the story because you can see that it's like... No. I am very scared. I am very scared about this game. Really? Yeah. Um, Is it spooky or... No, no. (laughs) For uh, just for... Not only just for accessibility, but I think of just the, the their their mentality of what this game is going to be like. Uh, because if you look at the PlayStation blog post about this game from the creative uh, and art director, basically they're like, the, the, I'm actually reading. I'll just read right off it because I would do it. I wouldn't do it justice. But it's, uh, they, he says, Un- unlike many modern games that guide players with detailed maps, quest markers, quest journals, and constant assistance. We've chosen to eliminate these traditional aids altogether. In Hell is Us, you won't have a magical map or compass revealing all points of interest surrounding you, no markers identifying your next quest objective, and no artificial or mechanical guides to orient you. Instead, we invite you to dive directly into the game's universe and rely on your own observation, reasoning, and intuition to progress. Uh. The environments are not there to simply decorate. They're there to communicate. Correspondingly, paying attention to what the NPCs tell you is crucial, as what they tell you is actually organic information about what to do and how to do it. We call this concept player plattering, as it is the opposite of silver plattering. It represents our deliberate choice not to serve everything to the player on a silver platter with ready-made directions and answers. Instead, we want the player to regain full control of their adventure by exploring, discovering, and deciding for themselves. This, uh, And I'm skipping ahead, but he, the last sentence of this one super paragraph is, I want to bring back the true old-school joy of exploring and discovering. Okay. So, the title so a, is lot very of, fitting. <laughs> a lot of what's being described there sounds very similar to me to, to what kind of was initially being said about Ghost of Tsushima, where they were like, you know what, like, there is no, like, quest marker. Like, you just follow the winds. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would be very surprised if there still isn't something where it's like, here's what you got. Um, yeah. I, I also think I mean, that it, it's a weird mentality to have to say, hey, we're just going to remove all the stuff that assists you in playing. You know, we're, we want yeah. you to, like, I think it's unrealistic to expect that a lot of people out there are going to, like, put all of their effort into this game. You know what I mean? They, there's so many people out there that just play a game like that casually. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you need to have the ability for there to be a casual experience with yeah. your game. I mean, I, I, I'm willing to give them the be- like the benefit of the doubt. Uh, and there could be a lot of, like from my side, a lot of accessible design that's built into the game, which Here's could hoping. be beneficial. Yeah. Um, and there's could potentially be a, hey, we know this is the way we intended to make the game, but we also understand that there are players that, that may need this. Here's like an assist mode that basically will turn on all these things. Uh, like, And that's kind of what happened with Ghost of Tsushima. As you yeah. said, like having the wins there, but they also had other things that basically made it more accessible. I highly doubt based off of their stance of where we want an old school experience where you explore and you, you know, you don't need any of these extra functionality in order to be able to do it. So basically they're telling, Hey, make sure to bring a notebook to, to play this game because you're yeah. going to forget everything. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's a bit much. my fear of it. It's a bit much. Yeah. 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 If they do it like Zelda Breath of the Wild or something, I think that'll be cool. Like, uh, yeah, but yeah, even yeah, then they still had like handed, handed. you could like, yeah, but even then they still the had a map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah. Uh, hopefully, there's something. No, yeah. according to this, it's like it's got nothing. It's got no maps, no guides, no nothing. Like it's just you just like find. You have to stumble your way around, and if you get stuck is in it, an area, is it like sorry. open world? Supposedly, like, according or, to this, or yeah, I just didn't know if it was like segmented because if that's the case, it could be like a Mario 64. It's like I heard rumors of a star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, they they say there, it's like you'll need to explore every corner of our world, pay attention to even the smallest clues, and be creative in solving the investigation that lies ahead. We firmly believe that this approach enhances immersion, plunging you into an adventure where every discovery is a result of your own cognitive effort. So basically, the, the director probably came into a meeting being like, hey, I just played this amazing Elden Ring Breath of the Wild uh, kind of game, and we need to do all of the wrong things. Yeah, but yeah. I think also like how they're like every corner of their world doesn't necessarily mean like 
open it's interesting. world. It could be, it, yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of interesting vague. and I understand like your fears and hopefully they have something yeah. in place that considers totally. like accessibility I hope so. as well because yeah. like that is, that is like the hard thing. It's like when I saw Hell is Us, like, yes, it's cool. It were obviously that similarity. To Cooler than Death, Death Stranding, Stranding, I think it was one hundred percent. No, no, definitely. <laughs> you but said also, much better than Death Stranding. But also it's like one of those games where I'm like, is it trying to like, it's cool to see how Death Stranding, something that's pretty recent, if you think about it, is inspiring, like so blatantly games of the future. And like, I think that's a cool thing nonetheless. But is this going to be one of those games where it is trying so hard to be something else that it can't find yeah, its own voice yeah. or where it can't acknowledge maybe the hurdles of those previous games and make make those hurdles disappear for, True. for you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get where, yeah. where the guy's coming from because I did look a little bit further. Apparently, he worked at Eidos Montreal when like Deus Ex, was, uh, like apparently that was a game that this guy had worked on, so which had, I get like sort of a similar kind of vibe to it but mm -hmm. um it, it's it, it like and i agree like hey i'm be willing to totally eat my words and be completely wrong about it i i've just seen enough like within the accessibility space to like like immediately like i just think of that TikTok meme of like oh no oh no 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 it just it does not <laughs> it, it sets up a lot of red flags for me and uh i'm hope i'm i am hoping that i am wrong because i want to play it the trailer look cool i just i just really hope i'm wrong fingers crossed I'm yeah. curious too. Like they won't have any of these. They won't have any of these cry rights. No, they're they're gonna have the spot from Spider Man instead. Okay. But my yeah. thing is like with like everything that's happening and with Aiden Pal from like Watch the Hogs. Yeah, with, yeah, like everything, with everything that's happening with Pal World, right? And like obviously games are art inspires art, art inspires real life, life inspires art, vice versa, all around. At what? How? Like this is so. There's very sim. There's a lot of similarities. Like, is this gonna be a situation where it's like, well, technically we used a drone instead of having that full attachment that Sam has on the back on his back? You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm curious, like how um, close this will be to Death Stranding. I mean, and, you like, didn't see you didn't see UPS like. You know, yeah, I, I think it's doing Death Stranding. It, it, it's obviously got like some some <laughs> art style that you can draw similarities to Death Stranding from, but it did yeah. feel like its own thing. It didn't feel like it. It kind of, but the fact that you mentioned um, Ghostwire, even the enemies kind of remind me of Ghostwire a little Ghostwire. bit. A little bit, a bit yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then like the guy looks like Aiden from Watch Dogs, and then this the drone reminded me of Death Stranding with his whole cloaking thing. So and like the mm -hmm. and his cloak, yeah, and yeah. even yeah. Mm -hmm. Ghostwire was another uh, time PlayStation exclusive. Going yeah. back to Batman, it's true, Batman. true. So true. there you go. Yeah, it's true. That's true. And it came on PC at the same time. So true. There you go. Uh, there's a Fortnite controller for Riley. You know, from uh, the play. Yeah. You, know, uh, <laughs> you mean you mean this <laughs> controller? But they oh. just let someone draw on it. <laughs> where, where, where are your stickers? <laughs> Where's the sticker? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, feel like, I feel like they could have done it for for Caboose the Fortnite. Too sweaty, limit. they just fell off. That guy they, grinds Fortnite like no other. I'm too sweaty, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Ever like, since he got an Epic Creator Code, he's just been uh, way too sweaty in Fortnite. He was, he was doing uh, the NSYNC dance. So I feel like the they could have done they could have done that controller a little better, in my opinion. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It also does that Chroma fun. collection, though. Yeah, that Chroma stuff collection look really nice. Cool. That stuff look really nice. That the all white or like the the Chroma white or whatever oh, you want to call yeah. it. Like, that why? looked very clean. I do why? like the one too. Yeah, but like, Purple why at the beginning so nice. they have the covers and now they're not even selling them anymore? Like, I don't understand this. Well, they're I'm now they're making them all for that. the slim. That, there are covers for the for the. Yeah, you buy the collection is going to have the covers. You just buy the covers by itself, or like get a like. Is that what it I is? Buy them by themselves. I think they're sold yeah. separately. It, but are, are those covers for this Chroma collection coming to the base PS5 as well, or just the Slim? Let me see. Because it looks so like from the from the trailer, it looks like, it looks like it was of, base PS5. Yeah. No, really. Oh, no, it had the line. That's, that's, that's the, the line. Slim. But the, the PS5 PS5 Pro has like the three lines, where it's just the no, one line but, with the. So okay, no, but the, the, the original original PS5, the launch oh, PS5. Oh, oh. no, no, no. And no, then no. there's the Slim with the one line. Yeah, and then there's now the pro coming up with the three lines. Many lines, so, so many lines. Just a slim, just the slim. Oh, it's just yeah, a slim. Just yeah, have, that's the thing. It's like all every time they have these, just have it available for the base because it's like I have the base, man. 
Well, no, yeah, I, I mean, gave up on that uh, a while ago. You guys have, you guys have to upgrade. That's what no, they want. No, I can't afford it. I'm poor. They really oh, have pushed aside the, the base PS5 entirely, which is well, yeah, because that's that the, 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 when they when they announced the, the the slim, they were like, that's that's the PS5. Like they're not even they're they're not even bothering with. I know that's anymore. true. They do call it just the PS5 now, straight up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not, yeah, and it's not even really a slim. It's like they they, they kind of like they kind of just like, made it like. Eh. Like a little a bit, little of a smaller. Yeah, I know. Which is yes. so dumb. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the they basically tuck. like they just uh, you know when whenever you kind of go on a, on a diet or a weight loss journey and you lose that first ten pounds because of water weight. Yeah. That's that's what that's what the PS Five slim yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> it. Uh, but I I gotta if we're talking about the state of play the the, the Alan Wake expansion. I was gonna like, move on to Alan Wake. I could oh not. my I god! It's one of the episodes I wish Steve was on because we would so. I know. Oh man. So perfect. Oh, yeah, I'm really surprised for that. they didn't give a date though, because doesn't the physical come out? N- it's like, next month. Just next month. October. They did say October, but they just yeah, didn't give them the exact say, date. Yeah, they yeah. did say. But like that creeped me out the whole time I was watching yeah. the state of play. I was just like, ee, ee. yeah. And then I thought I was good, and then it had that pop up at the end. I was like, goodness, yeah, right. I can't. I can't. I don't care. Be, just give me be, that. Just night, give me be, like, be in an FBC facility within Alan Wake 2. Like, that's the what Night I want. Springs expansion that they put out, that like that was fun, but that was very much just like these cool little anthology stories. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this looks to be more of like furthering the, the mythology yeah, of that Alan voice, Wake. Um, yeah. It's Janita uh, Gavankar's character from yeah. Alan Wake 2. That it, like, she, yeah. like, I don't know if you're playing as her. Or you are playing a saga, but that is her voice in the tra- uh, Janita's voice in the trailer. Ah, I see. Yeah. That out, so I was like, okay, okay. That's so that. also, like, so the physical is coming out October twenty second. That's why I'm like, why didn't they give a date for this then? So maybe it's going to be around that time, but I guess they yeah. just haven't fully around landed. Or it might come up, might come before, like, it might come yeah. before or something like that. So it's no, cool. imagine, but I'm really hyped. Be Halloween. That would be awesome. I mean, it's it's no matter what, it's coming yeah, right like, around that yeah. spooky yeah. season. The thing yeah. is, because it'll be coming it has to come with the physical, because the physical is deluxe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, I can see them being like it'd be a digital download for the for the physical version. Because they've always said it's basically yeah. it's going to be just the the like the the physical version of the game. Like exactly the, right. Like yeah. you get the physical copy and then you get the little little paper inside. Yeah, because it's free. It's going to be free to all players anyway. Um. So. But yeah, I'm really I'm really looking forward to that. But even if like I know we're gonna talk about the big one at the end, but uh, I want to just what is before, the big one? Well, before we talk about that, I want to talk about like Astrobot, like just all the yes, the, yes, Astrobot, the 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 show. Divers. Yes. Like, off the yes. show, hell divers, yeah, and it was Stellar such Blade. A- yeah, it was such a good way. Look <laughs> oh, at that. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, I have mine somewhere. I got I to gotta pull it out. But, it's yeah. such oh, you a cool way oh, to open up one, the yeah. show. Like, I think they did a good job in just knowing that DLC is just, like, right around the corner. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. It's oh, replacing so his good. eyes. Does it look like my it. eyes? Like, it yeah, look yeah. Like yeah. It does look <laughs> better. No, it looks like the, the thumbsticks are your eyes, not <laughs> the actual, like... <laughs> <laughs> Riley's having the time of his life. Um, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I, I honestly, in general, like when I think back to it, like especially with it opening up with the Astrobot expansion, like the DLC yeah. content, them mm-hmm. having the Alan Wake DLC in there too. It was a good, for Dragon it was a good Age. state of play. It was a good state it was of play. Solid. I mean, when they when they announced the state of play, usually, I mean, we all know and from from times before that they would try their best to like temper the expectations by saying true going to be this this and that from our third party publishers or, or it's yeah. going to be a state of play focused on this game you know this was the, the the one time where they were like 30 minutes over 20 games you know what i mean it yeah. was just straight up like get hyped and it, it, it for me was starting to signal like they didn't have enough material for the full-on showcase but they basically wanted a showcase and i mm-hmm. think that this the state of play yeah. it, it played out almost exactly like that we got to look at some new content coming to some of their games we got obviously a new look at like their hardware and some of the games that are going to be getting enhancements with the ps5 pro and, horizon remaster and as well horizon yeah. zero dawn and getting yeah. it the remaster remake yeah. reimagination the, again yeah. um the, like yeah. re- i mean the shout outs to that orig- the original one the original one is beautiful the original one still like, looks great still looks got fantastic. ps5 upgrades is on pc <laughs> yeah um, it's crazy yeah, like, yeah, like, mixed, uh, whatever on, you know, whatever weather, no, I'm, I'm remaster for both. hey that was yeah. cool that I've was seen, actually that really cool to like upgrade it Here's yeah. the thing. From what I've seen of what they what they showed in the sh- uh, in the state of play, but then also now, like, because today 
um, the uh, creators or influencers or, or media were able to they talk about the their, PS5, Pro, um, right? PS5 Pro, and they were like, "It is, it, it like it's as if this is what the like, version like of, of Horizon should have been." Um, because they've they upgraded to the Forbidden West sort of uh, newer engine that they had. Uh, it just everything like the game was already gorgeous, but it just looks even more uh, amazing. I, like, I don't I, doubt. I'm okay with the remastered. Yes. It's yeah. fine. Did, Ten did, bucks? I'm okay with that. Ten bucks like, is totally upgrade. fine. It's, it's, it's one of those things yeah. where you yeah. just don't gotta. Oh, you good, Steve? I just <laughs> my, my oh no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> It, it's one of those like things it, where it's uh, like, yeah, <laughs> where you really don't, if you don't want it or you don't like it, you don't got to pay for it. The original exactly. one still looks great. You know what I mean? Um, I will say the other game that uh, caught my eye was the Midnight Walk. Yeah, the Clay oh, yeah, that style looks, looks dope. That, like, yeah. about that game. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, sorry. I completely zoned out. I might have been like focused on the dog. But um, yeah. that one, like, because it's like very Tim Burton esque. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, also. The makers of Lost and, uh, Lost and Random. Yeah, it's kind of like Little Nightmares. I feel like it's it's given that yeah. vibes. But then, yeah. like, also, it's supposed to come out in VR. And I don't know if I can handle that. Like, this nope. also was telling no, it's, me, it's like, both, instantly so. I saw the like, nope. Yeah, in yeah, both. Nope. Yeah. But I mean, like, yeah. for VR, I definitely would not be able to handle oh, okay. it. Yeah, 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 no way. But I think I'm going to uh, pick it up for PlayStation. Fad. There was also another game. Um, oh, What was it called that looked like kind of cool? Uh, I think it was a farming. Uh, nope can't remember okay. <laughs> fair enough so what's the big game you got for us camille oh well obviously ghost was revealed hell which, like, not of tsushima yeah not, not of tsushima. Tsushima. I, I love that that's the direction that they're going with it because like it just the, the concept of goat uh, of the ghost in Japan, I'm like, yes, like that is because it keeps the the everything that was so great about Jin's story and keeps it like it like you know, hey, it's 300 years in the past. It's like it's its own thing instead of like just trying to sequelize it and trying to make it better. We're just going to be focusing on a, on, on a completely different region of Japan, and that Yotai Mountain, like, holy shit, that, that looks good. Good. amazing. Oh. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I think you're you're absolutely right on the money, uh, Aaron. With like when you said game of the year 2025 for yeah. sure. Yeah, it just I mean, looks like that. It, it looks so beautiful. The, the first game is for me one of the most visually impressive games like ever released. It's just mm -hmm. like every new location that you discover every time you're riding down somewhere with your horse, you're just like, oh my god. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like after you spend an hour in photo mode, you're like, I've created yeah. the magnificent capture of this game. It's like no, no, no. The game just looks like that all the time. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, that's why. And I remember, too, when Ghost of Tsushima was first coming out, I didn't have, like, a whole ton of excitement for it. And so when I jumped in, finally, it really caught me by surprise how much, I, like, I was taken aback by, obviously, the world. But also, I, I am one of those people where I completely disagree when people try to say that, that Jin is, like, wooden or doesn't have a lot of character to him. Yeah. I think he fully... Mm. He's like, supposed to be stoic. Exactly. To, yeah. Yeah. Totally understands for the time period and as well for the fact that he is a part of, like, the samurai. Like, that. that's, that's how it's authentic. It's very authentic. Yeah. And also, you know what? Like, okay, I would have loved to have seen more of Jin Sakai for sure. But when you do look at Ghost of Tsushima and then the expansion, yes. his story, his arc has wrapped up. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. there is in in the in the in the world in our history, there was another Mongol invasion, and that to that could have been an avenue that could have gone down if they made another Ghost of Tsushima. But the the idea of Ghost of Tsushima, it, it's of course about the Mongol invasion and all that, but it really is about Jin and his story and him yeah. wanting to break free of the shackles of the samurai code, him yep. defying his uncle and becoming the ghost. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so by the end of that game, they really do like his arc has been completed. He's helped his friends. He's he's seen his now true potential. He has defied his uncle. He he's walked away from the samurai. Like it's done, he, 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 and and then in the expansion, he's avenged his father. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. Jin Sakai's story has been wrapped in a neat little bow. I'm ready now to learn about Atsu. I'm ready now to learn yeah. about what's going on in this game with this new character and this new world. Well, Who's the actress? Well, I just want to give. Canyon? Who's the actress? I just want to give them a shout out. Erika well. Ishii. Yes, Erika awesome. Ishii. Um, yeah. The yeah, voice but... of uh, uh, she. She's in Apex Legends. Yeah. Uh, she was. Oh um, yeah. 
uh anna bray and destiny 2 uh oh. what was the one no one that she just did recently like uh, um oh she's gonna be playing rook one of the voices of rook and and dragon age uh the veil guard there you go um so that you can yeah. be able to choose uh, for your character there but uh, she's got a busy oh, schedule she's <laughs> yeah. busy yeah. she's busy. Busy, busy but my thing is okay so when i saw the trailer i think everyone uh we've talked about our love for ghost of tsushima and like looking forward to the next installment from Sucker Punch. And I do like, I agree with you, Caboose, that they want a different direction because I think Jin's story was done. One of my hesitations, though, when I was watching this trailer, I was like, okay, a lot of it looks like Ghost of Tsushima. Um, so I was like, okay, where are they going with this? Like, how is it going to Guns! stand out? And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah then at was. the end, we find out we're in the era of, like, where guns are being introduced. So maybe it's dealing with colonialism in Japan yeah, at this yeah. time. I also love the fact that she's a dual wielder yes, as well. Yes. So yeah, I, I feel awesome. like there's going to be a lot of cool things that we could do I there. Would, I and am I, so ready for that samurai sword, and then all yeah. of a sudden just that pistol comes out. Like, damn, that's going to be so dope but as hell. Also, so but sick. also the fact that... I don't know about Caboose. Were they teasing you're having a companion? Yes. We, yes. I knew you were talking about yes. earlier in the show. I knew you were talking about earlier in the show. That's is that totally that what why you brought the dog? Is that why yes. that the whole skit oh, is no, yeah. the dog? The build of the like. Remy in the room? No, I, but like, I think that would be such a cool thing to have a wolf companion by yes. your side yes. um, and what mechanics that could introduce. So I feel like yeah. Sucker Punch knew exactly what they were doing. They were putting in a little bit of teases in this trailer to get us going. I just want to learn more and see more like right now i'd be very right curious now. to see what because as as you said Eric, like with with the with the theme of uh, of ghost of tsushima being that Jin like turns away from his, the, the kind of the samurai code and then beca and then becomes sort of the ghost of, of tsushima like that kind of almost like a ronin sort of type character yeah. uh at this one this trailer kind of makes like make it makes it look like that you are a Ronin in this. Uh, yeah, kind of teased a tiny bit of it, or like you're going up, like you're a Ronin, but you get to, you're going up against your own kind. I'd be very curious to like what is the theme that they are going for with this, uh, like to turn you into a into the ghost. Um, like what is it like? Because that was the thing that always interested me about the game. It's like it is that pull that that tug and pull of you want to be honorable, like as a samurai. But you also know how cool, how many cool things you can do as the ghost, and yeah. but they still throughout the entire game allow you to be that honorable. Like you could still be a samurai if you wanted to. You could still go up to a settlement and be like, and just take, you know, go on that that sort of a uh, uh, that that one on one every uh, time showdown. You approach enemies, you can either call them out for the showdown, yep. or you can take them out like the ghost. Yeah, I love that. I yeah, love and that. I like I love that sort of like that that tug and pull of like, okay, you could do this I, w like this way instead of just forcing you into being the ghost full on and uh, like that that struggle that Jin is feeling like I wonder what is going to be that for Ghost of Yotai like what is it good like what is going to be that struggle of are you going to get against the Ronins are you becoming to come become a samurai is that the pull or or what like I don't care anyway either way I am so for this game I can't wait I love what Sucker Punch is doing and that is my that is that is going to be probably my most anticipated game of next year for sure well, it's crazy. 2025 is stacked. We got Grand yeah. Theft Auto 6. We've got probably a new Nintendo console coming, which will have its own stuff. PlayStation will have more. Xbox has Indiana Jones coming out on PS5. Some other titles like Avowed that we know Avowed, of. And probably you know, yeah. Fable. Assassin's Creed's pushed into. Fable. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Fable. Uh, Perfect Dark. Like, yeah. uh, it's going to be, a, it, that year is going to be bonkers. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, and Spider-Man 2 DLC, right? <laughs> Uh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Now I'm just, I'm just curious, like, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> even I was like, like it's now's the time, right? Like, yeah. you're launching the pro, you're advertising Spider-Man Two it as like getting the, the pro. Not, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, wouldn't it make sense to drop a DLC chapter or, or anything? So, but we I, still I got we still got a bit of time to wait. I think you know it's not coming out like it's coming out in November, so we got a month. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> if, uh, if, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to give you a little bit. Listen, I, listen, I listen, 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 listen. I'll say this for Spider Man 2 DLC. Um, like, it, it could be that they had plans for it at one point, it got scrapped. It could be that it just never really fully developed into something that was real, right? Yeah. Um, it could also be like the last two years at the Game Awards where 
In 2023, it was Ragnarok's DLC with Valhalla. True. In 2022, it was Horizon Forbidden West DLC with Burning Shores. That is true. 2024 mm-hmm. might be that slot at the Game Awards for Spider-Man. That that is like the last ditch effort. And even then, like I'm I'm keeping my expectations way way low um, because it, it also could just be the case that they were like, you know what, we got to get Spider-Man two out the door. And then it's all hands on deck with Wolverine. If that happens, yeah. if that happens, Aaron, we're celebrating at Avengers Campus the, uh, the next day after the Game Awards. If there's a Spider-Man DLC, yes. Oh, I'm I'm running up and down. I'm getting on stage at the Game Awards <laughs> to start cheering. Oh no! This is why. This is why I'm not supposed to be in the back. This is why Just, they need extra if you're security. You're watching. I'm not Awards. actually going to do that. <laughs> put you all the way in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, as long no, as you but, go up and say you don't mention Bill Clinton, I think you're fine. Uh, you know what? You're right. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, but. Yeah. No, seriously, I, I will probably end up being the loudest person in the room if that ended up happening. But again, I, I'm keeping my expectations low, and I'm doing that just because, like, if a surprise comes my way, it'll be that much more exciting. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Rather than setting myself up for this excitement to then be disappointed, um, because that's part of the reason too, right? Like, we weren't sitting there expecting anything Marvel games related last year, and then we got Blade, and that was hype as hell. Or even yeah. Ragnarok's DLC is another one that's a perfect example. They were saying, I, I think the game director was like. We're done with the game. Like it's out. We don't have any plans for DLC. I, I I don't know if that was true at the time because it came out what November of 2022. Maybe that was the case. And then somewhere along the way, they're like, "Wait, guys, yeah, I got a little idea." You know, like yeah. So, so who knows? I, I just I do find it crazy overall, though. That, like Spider-Man Two yeah. for as big of a PlayStation game as it is to not have any extra content that that you'd want to reel people in with. I just, I just think it's crazy. I think it's how many crazy. copies did it sell? Like fourteen million or something. The last report was like over eleven million, but that was okay. a little while ago. It's got yeah. to have ballooned so like you, that. that that base is large enough to support additional. One hundred percent. Oh, well, for sure, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, they saw the, they saw to make like the game of the year edition, which that will eventually come on PC True. as well. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but our, our sadly, I think our bet of it coming out this year is gonna. Oh, that's hey, they could do a show nah. drop. They could, yeah. they could, yeah. they very easily that could be the thing of Give the it too. They could just <laughs> drop it on PC. Let it go. I'm the PC. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I just had I'm still hope it's gonna happen frame. this year. I'm getting yeah. extra frames over here. Come on. I I'm made the PC. mistake of I forgot that God of War Ragnarok existed. <laughs> like, well, I'm oh, still gonna put that out. <laughs> I'm curious what the long term plan for Astrobot is. Because like they, yeah. if you if you look at that content that they showed, they showed off two of the bots, right? Yeah. And then they're like, yeah. there, are, there are ten bots that you can rescue that we're adding in this. Update. That looks like, like content that they had that they were going to try to get in for launch, but just didn't. Like, do you, you think though? Time. Do you think though that it's going to be because they showed like four hell divers bots? Yeah. At the so you if you it's look be, like, at the kill team, zone ones in the game, if, or? if you look at if you look at the image where they're like dancing the hell diver and uh Stella Blade. Stella Blade Stella Blade. characters are dancing in the background are the silhouettes of seven other characters oh oh three of them look like hell divers so it looks like four hell divers yeah okay um one of them looks like cade six oh uh, one of that would them, make sense i guess yeah they yeah, all that totally would make sense yeah. i would love that oh my God. one of them looks like maybe Jin from tekken Oh, okay. oh they have okay. they have Kazuya in yeah. in Astrobot. Yeah. And he said ten, right? Ten bot know. ten new bots. Like that yeah. was the, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, ten new bots. And then they're like, and we have more surprises in store. So it's like you it's and like then that's, not even, count as one, to that's not even touching on like in the concept art for the game, there's no like sweet tooth is in the concept art. Yeah, you're that, right. That princess is in the concept oh, art. That, so we're yeah, the hell that, divers. I love that. Uh yeah. and then in the credits they mention Ubisoft, particularly Assassin's True. Creed, Rayman. And Beyond Good and Evil, and then they also mention Croc, mm. which is getting a remaster, and they also mention Worms and uh, Rise I of mean, the Rose. Just, just alone off the fact that we had the Hell Divers in the concept art, and now that's becoming a thing that's with a this thing, latest yeah. expansion. That's kind of like, given a bit more credence to yeah. it. Yeah, I feel like yeah, like that that could all but confirm at this point that a lot of the stuff you see in the concept art, it's it's things they're going to end up. You adding. think? Well, and that's you why they're going to have the anniversary. Like it's a whole it's probably like a whole release like calendar that they have going well into yeah. next year for yeah. DLC content. Um, especially now that Sackboy is getting shifted to the side. 
as he's the showing up in Lego Horizon. No. Well, no, so he's coming in Nintendo. He's coming in Nintendo now. He's, he's in the Horizon Sackboy. Lego thing. Sackboy yeah, was, the, was the mascot he's not for the, the mascot Sackboy was the mascot now. for the PS4, PS3 era. Astrobot's the mascot for the PS5 era. Yeah, and probably, especially after the response to Astrobot, the game. Probably going to be now the new PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would. I would assume they have some big plans for that IP. Yeah, and I you think that's a yeah. perfect promotion. Poor Ratchet, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ratchet. <laughs> like they were so close. They're they in their so Lego close. Horizon. Yeah, Ratchet's that's in Lego true, yeah. Horizon. Yeah, true, true, but it's just like you they're know, Astrobot like, as well. They're still doing things. You think they're going to do the 30th like anniversary? Like, the they had, they had it. They had a. They had. A, they had a lot. It was a legacy character. They had the franchise. It just. It just. Yeah. I think they got Horizon when you know, like the fact that Horizon keeps coming out in days with like big, huge RPGs. Well, yeah. What was your What was your question, Marcel, about the 30th I'll, anniversary? Sorry. No, I just wonder. You think they're going to throw it in the Astro Bot as a surprise? As like a oh, system. like a mention. Oh, like even just them showing up. Yeah, the console. Uh, well, they, have the console. Like, they actually tease the 30th anniversary controller in Astrobot. Like it's okay. one of the unlockables. That's true, oh, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then oh. uh, and then if you go to the front, there's like a little plug after you collect everything. You pull it out and it's the 30th anniversary banner. And you could it's like you take a photo oh, wow. in it. So like oh, they were like oh, that's what that was. They, okay. They're already using the game to tease stuff. But yeah, like yeah. It, I I can't imagine a full on like expansion. That's all about the pro. You know what I mean? Like, there's Some, a new. We got a new I, ship, I, guys. It's yeah. the it's the PS5 Pro. Or all something. Yeah. Unlock it by getting the pro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think that makes total sense if you do like a yeah. pro expansion and they're like, oh, and you got Final Fantasy content and this content and this content. Like the credits of the game already are baked in with a bunch of IPs that are not going to be part of this, you know, mm -hmm. expansion. So there's they have a lot more planned. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. don't know what it'll be yet. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, Let's just wrap up here with uh, Ubisoft, which they had quite a day today, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, one with uh, Star Wars Outlaws coming uh, coming to Steam. Very quick turnaround. This is the fastest I've seen like a game that's on the their Plus system or Epic and moving on to Steam this quickly. Usually it's like six months or to a year. Uh, but that's coming on November. I lost it here. November 19th? I'll find it. Oh, okay. uh, it was originally gonna be November twenty first. Yeah. Was it twenty first? I think twenty twenty first. Yeah, with the DLC, the wild cards, yeah. uh, first, oh, first right. expansion as go. well. There Thank you, you very much. And then uh, Assassin's Creed. I guess they saw the PlayStation uh, state of play, and they're like, "Well, crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's uh let's delay this well, game you, a little you bit know, here." They 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 were already gonna get compared to to Ghost of Tsushima, so yeah. like, it is what it is. Like, uh, yeah. they're they're two different. Types of games. Out February fourteenth. Yeah. yeah, February fourteenth. That's right. They got the delay, yeah. which is fine. I mean, hey, like if it's if because I think that um in because there was a lot of things that uh, that came up, but I, so I apologize if I'm jumping ahead, Marcel. But uh, there was a memo that uh Use Guild yeah. Mom I had put out uh like once shareholders uh or to shareholders, and one of the things that the that he had said was that they wanted to make sure that the day one experience is as flawless as they possibly can and unfortunately ubisoft has had hasn't had the best day one experiences with, with their the launch of their game so right. especially um, with star wars <laughs> yeah so i i think yeah. that that's probably like because he did say that the game is fully playable it is it has all the things that, that like all the like, it has all the polish that it's in there the, i think they just want to be able to make sure that as of day one it's going to launch and launch well um, right now respect, yeah right now it's that. in it, the game is is in the position of launching like every other ubisoft game has launched they want to i guess now delay it to get it to an even higher level of quality yeah and and, and i i would say that maybe some people might disagree that that might be a sign as to them thinking this game has the potential to do really well for us mm -hmm. but if it comes out and it's and it's got bugs or it's there's performance issues then it's an uphill battle from there. So if yeah. they delay it, they cut their losses on any game awards, whatever. Um, if they cut their losses and they say, look, we're going to put it out till, till February to make sure that it's got that extra bit of polish, then it could be a big game. Like it could be a game that sells sure. really well, could be a game that, that gets well reviewed, you know? So uh, I'd say that, that them delaying it could, that mm -hmm. could be a reason as to why. Not yeah. only delaying it as well, but also the, um, the expansion they 
They gave it for free now. Yes. They also refunded as well. Oh, for Outlaws or the, the oh, no, Shadow? No, for uh, uh, Star Wars. Oh, okay. For, okay. Wars. for uh, Shadow. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did make an announcement about uh, about Outlaws too, about the expansion uh, as well. Yeah. But I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's also, coming on like, the Steam. Yeah. They're doing an yeah, internal right. like investigation as well to understand like kind of their shortfalls if you've had it. Yes. Um yeah. how they could improve on that. So I think like, you know, it's better for companies. We complain a lot about like, oh my gosh, your companies are putting out the same thing. It's not working. I think taking the time and being able to like say, like, hey, like we are going to take the time and like we're going to do the work and I think in Yves Menlo, he mentions like um, certain things that were pointed out for outlaws, um, like that critics pointed out um, that were like opportunities to improve. If yeah. they're able to address some of those opportunities, even on like the release of Shadows, like I think that itself is worth the delay. Um, yep. You know, and like mm -hmm. there was stuff in there about like um, the stealth. Uh, options and outlaws I believe some critics had issues of which you know I think was one of the things that um, we talked about as well if they're able to like make stealth feel like Assassin's Creed stealth and like make it feel like also fresh like uh, you know I'm all for these delays now it's yeah. just like I think with any delay it also unfortunately how toxic kind of the online culture uh, of gaming yeah. has become there's going to be like this limelight on the game when it releases and if it doesn't if it's like 10 out of 10 if it's not that then trolls are going to be you know obviously hating on it no matter what the trolls but will I hate think, on it even if it, gets, think, if it gets 10 oh. out of 10 then everybody's a paid shill and yeah, and they're all, yeah. You know, but there's I, but and I, 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 you can never, you can and, never, yeah. you can never win, right? But and that's yeah. the thing, like they have such an uphill battle, especially with um, all the other reports coming out about like some of the cultural stuff within the game as well. Um, yeah. So it, it would be nice to see that they also use this time to address some of those concerns mm -hmm. um, as well. But I do, I, I'm like, I, I feel really bad because it's going like. I feel bad because it's delayed and I think a lot of people like myself have been anticipating it. Yes. But at the same time with just seeing Ghost yesterday, it's kind of nice that it will have that space from Ghost. Like I wonder if they also were aware that Ghost was going to be revealed. Um, Maybe. And if like they were uh, like No, mm, let's that, that's just give too, some, give that's some too time. soon. It, it, yeah. it like they would have they would have had to have made that decision to delay the game uh at True. least two weeks like two or three weeks ago yeah. um that's not a, that's not but a didn't quick the like memo go out this morning the memo, the memo went out this morning because of shareholder it was a shareholder meeting it was a um it was investor meeting so they had to disclose uh and and it just was made they they i think that they just tied it so just before the shareholder meeting so that way they can get the news out um beforehand but um yeah this is not something that they would have like they saw ghost and be like nah gotta pull it get delay it yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. like, well, like, the question i have to bring up is the fact that they pulled out from tokyo go game show that is the cr that is the crazy thing out of this i, I don't know all this and they canceled i don't know the what would have made them right? cancel like but that is something that they would have had to <laughs> it, it it must have just been that this like it, maybe it wasn't necessarily last minute, but it was coming to a point where they knew they were going to delay it. And yeah. so they needed to also then delay some of their marketing efforts yeah. to and try that, and coincide with something that's closer to the actual release. And I agree. Mm. That's why you get out of Tokyo Game Show. Like, if yeah. you're there, you have to show the highly anticipated title coming up, and that is Shadows for them. And if they know yeah. Shadows is not in a state where they want people to get their hands on it yet, because, like, that's the thing. Even if they would love probably feedback from media and the community um it those reports then would go out that already if there's anything that people have issues with the game um that could also hurt the release upon a delay right yeah. so it would be better I, I... to actually not show the game and not have any media attention to it and keep it still in house with how good even the reception is so far um for shadows then have gameplay come out there that could tarnish it yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, Especially with yeah. what they learned from Outlaws, right? Like maybe like some of the mechanics that are in Outlaws, they're like, we kind of did some of that in I Shadows. I potentially that, but like that is, 
to be able to pull like that would have been something that they would have that they would have like uh, said like maybe a week or two ago being like oh we're yeah. sorry we're not gonna be able to come out of tokyo game show like that's not like if they knew that that was the case like the gameplay was not all there for the demo they were gonna show or pl- have people but play no, i'm not saying that it's not all there i think the gameplay is there by like what we saw with outlaws on launch right but given what they've learned from outlaws and given you know a, a couple flops they're probably just like, hey, you know, like, let's just and like seeing also the industry, how the industry has been. That's the other factor. It's not just how Ubisoft has been. All the flops that have been in the industry's eyes recently that should have been big releases and should have been successes and hits have not hit hard. Right. So I think it's better. And that's why I do think that this was more of a last minute decision to delay the game is I, because uh... They pulled out of Tokyo Game Show. Like if they if they knew that they weren't going to if they knew they were going to delay the game ahead of time, they would have pulled out of Tokyo Game Show, like you said, weeks before. I, I see that's like I, I that's why I'm thinking that there's more than we don't yeah. that we don't know because if 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 they were gonna put like there's something must have just happened that they would like have they might, because they pulled everything like Tokyo yeah. Game Show is this week they would have had they would have Literally had tomorrow people or today. and staff from tonight, Ubisoft sorry, would have yeah. already had their 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 uh their travels already planned they would have already probably what, be on their way to Japan someone was actually reported to like they were actually ready to board the plane or they were getting yeah, ready to go like to that Japan. is like something must have massively happened yeah. Then uh, that 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 basically they were like, no, we got to pull it. Then just a okay. oh, we got to delay the gate. Like I like, know there's like, like a lot of that decision de- is a if much they bigger didn't decision. Delay the game, right? If if so, so if they delayed the game and still decide to do Tokyo Game Show, what would they show at Tokyo Game Show? You're gonna well, the, then the have the to deal build, with questions of why they. I think they could still it. show it. I think they could still, still show it. They just would. Say, they just would say they would just go into it saying, "Hey, we're delaying the game. It's not coming out till November." Like yeah. that would still uh, that could still be the uh, story. Like, hey, it's, it's still not gonna be out. To, it's not gonna be out in November. It's gonna be out in February. But you can still play the game here on the like uh, at the sh- at the show floor. Like that is something that they could have pivoted. Yeah. So it's yeah. mo- so but them also, like, like, not like, like I know the reason a lot why of... they pulled because of delay because they're delaying it. That yeah. that to me does not does not make any yeah. any sense. Well, no, also I just, we I just have hope there's consider... not a lot of. Yeah. I just hope there's not a, a lot of because there's been backlash with this game, especially with the yeah. culture side of things. I just hope yeah. it's something that they like. Someone's like, hey, if you show this, you're like you're dead in the water. Like, yeah, yeah that's, that's one thing. Something big. Yeah, must something, have I, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if it's I don't know if it's something big, but I think because of like I think there was that period after Summer Game Fest where yes, there was that backlash, but then uh, over the flag usage. And then it kind of simmered down. And then the more recent news that was just earlier this week or end of last mm-hmm. week. With it had, like, but it, it, but, it had but to have think, been something big because that that's millions of dollars well, lost. Yeah, but the law, but that's the thing. It's like, I don't think it's like, given the fact that they already have now it's fresh again about the cultural issues that of this game that takes place in Japan and they're supposed to be at Tokyo Game Show in Japan. Like, there's it just made i don't think it makes more sense this, i think it this makes isn't more something sense like that just came it. up all of a sudden though like it's like they knew they were going to tokyo game show it's not like that they like it, it like yeah, it's but all it of a sudden simmered they, down they, it simmered down it only it really picked up again like the controversy with it more recently in terms of being in like the news uh feed right yeah um of the issues that you know people have i just like game, i just think right? that the so only thing we like don't know about and the delay I think, like, it, I know what we're saying, it's millions of dollars, but it's also millions of dollars for a company that's worth lots of millions of dollars, right? Like, sure, where they can the- make up that money in s- selling a game that is successful, especially off the heels. They're probably even saving money because off the heels of Outlaws not out, underperforming and not selling as much as they would have expected, even if they have penalties for pulling out Tokyo Game Show, they don't have to pay for all that travel through their travel agencies. It probably gets booked and then they maybe lose a percentage. Like there's actually, it it makes sense when you're looking at the book side of things. I, I, I think they're probably, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I think they're probably I, I don't think that the controversy of like uh, like yes, agreed. There are probably like some definitely cultural stuff that is that is in there that you don't want to like like uh, Japanese people going to Tokyo Game Show will be like there could there could potentially have been something there. 
I, I, I agree with I agree with you on that. I don't think the recent controversies are anything that is even worth like like not necessarily worth remotely talking about, but it's like one of those. It's like the, the, we see it because we are in it beyond the social media bubble like it is it, like but then it may on the not flip be, side would but, we but, see it more oh, if we were in japan but here's the thing but with with that as 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 you're as you're saying they're potentially we don't know what sort of like the the, the japanese sentiment is like with it for uh for this game we just don't know like we don't have that uh, yeah, uh that sort lens, of that that, meant, yeah. that sort of like yeah. yeah what what their what their opinion is on it i i just think that Again, I, I, there, a lot of this could be very true, but I just the way like pulling pulling out literally a day before Tokyo Game Show, and you're right, yes, they're going to get some of the money back from travel, but that's a lot of tra- like that's a lot of travel money lost. Even if they could, even if they like they get a percentage back, like that's they, still a lot of travel loss. That's still millions of dollars that they would have had to have spend like for to appear at Tokyo Game Show. All the venues, all everything that they would have that is. Yes, you're right. Ubisoft is worth a lot more than just a couple million dollars. But the fact that they went into the investor uh, a call saying that Star Wars didn't fully perform and that they're delaying the game, uh, they're, they're also delaying the uh, the game. Something else must have like that we don't know about. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, else, I'm not saying yeah. that even controversial is like a, a big yeah. sort of like executive shakeup or anything like that. It's just something that we don't know about. That they were like, okay, this is not this is not good, and we got to pull out now because this this is not something that you yeah. plan for. This is not something that you that you think about. It just we get like something happened. We got to pull out now, otherwise we're in huge the, trouble. Yeah, and I think I think too, if I can just interject, is that like a lot of what happened started happening yesterday, and it started happening very fast. Yeah. So it, it's it's yeah. you know what I mean by that is it's press previews get canceled, and it's we're not at Tokyo Game Show anymore. These were quick decisions. These were yeah. decisions like they didn't just they didn't plan this weeks out like it happened quickly. Yeah. Um, and there are a number of reasons for that. It's probably a little bit of Star Wars underperforming. Like it's probably it's probably a little bit of the controversy. It's probably a little bit of maybe the game's not ready. And I think all these things kind of culminated in a and let's not mince words like Ubisoft's in a very precarious position right now. Their tank yep. their their stock is tanking. The yeah. CEO is in a lawsuit with the board, the members the board, of the board. Yeah, as long as yeah. they're because they're looking into they investigation, think he's intentionally yeah. tanking it and like pushing these practices. So if if Shadows comes out and it does not perform for them, they're they're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. It, it, so it's just like they need to be careful with this and releasing it now. Uh, after especially like there was a recent thing that popped up. Um, in regards to the controversy that was seemed as, as very bad mm-hmm. um, that, I mean, you can, I can forecast the headlines yeah. already, you know? So yeah. it's like, you have a hands on, you have this, it's like, let's get away from that. Let's put some more polish on it. So it launches. Well, let's make sure we get some money back on this game because if it doesn't do well, like you're in trouble. Even, even like look at star Wars, right? Like there really shouldn't be a world where, a 7.5 out of 10 Star Wars game has like lukewarm sales. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. that that it's should be like as well. Yeah, like you're you're exploring the galaxy. It's it's you, you could even go so far as to say it's not necessarily open world, it's like open galaxy, even like there's yeah. multiple different worlds to explore. There's all this like Star Wars flavor injected into it. It's like missing a couple of things that people really want to improve the quality of life. But I don't think anybody was out there reviewing saying this is like garbage. So it's like it, it's rough that that game did not sell to the expectations of Ubisoft. So, yes, they definitely like they're, they're into this position right now where they're like this Assassin's Creed game like has to do well. Yeah. Like it, it's not just that like it has to like break even or we have to just get into profit. It's like, yeah. no, no, no. This game has to do really well for us right now. This you know? is also a potential like this is like getting back to uh, when Ubisoft was potentially like going to have a host- like going to get a hostile takeover. Like this is that kind of territory. Yeah, we're getting that there. They're feeling like right now, and like cause, yeah, you're right. Like uh, Riley, like the 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 stock prices li- like tanked over year over year. They were at around twenty, like just uh, trading at about twenty five do- uh, euros uh, per stock. They're now t- taking like around like four or five. Like oh it my- is. Jeez, that, that is year right. to date like Very it bad. is ba- like it is bad and that's just beyond just the new like the the news of uh, of today again camille and i'll say this 100 percent you 100 percent could be very could be very right i i mm-hmm. like the, the, out of out, out, out of all this i 
I just feel in my gut like there's something like that something we don't stinks. know about. Yeah, like something, something stinks. stinks. Like yeah, something when there's smoke, stinks. there's yeah. fire, and there's there's definitely a lot of smoke. A lot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love you, Camille. Well, <laughs> oh, I, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We're Sorry. fine. We're fine. We're, we're okay. Aaron's Most of your, we're your, your your time it releases in 2025. It looks so good. <laughs> it's such a beautiful See, game. See, that's the thing that's sad is that you're at like, two time games that come so, out the same you know, year. Like, but also, like that, uh, like it is so sad. And that's the thing. Like what you're saying, it's like there's no reason that Star Wars Outlaws, a seven out of ten game, shouldn't have performed well. But it, like that is the state of the industry right now. Like yeah. the industry is in such crap right now because like it, the patterns have been changing of what studios expect to sell and I think they're still trying to get their hands on it and understand like what hits with a market that is changing so rapidly um, and that is influenced by so many different factors um, yeah. and it's like we still haven't found it when we were thought when we thought we were out of it when we thought things would settle we are still not. That's why, like, something I even look at Indiana Jones. I do not, unfortunately, and it hurts me to say, I don't think that is going to perform as Dutch? well. It's, yeah, right you now. You know what I mean? Looking, like, it's just looking I'm at what's you. happened in the last few months. Like, it is really hard to say, like, that is a game that is going to sell well the, for people. The, the industry is in a really tough position. Yeah. You're absolutely right. The, the discourse surrounding these games is also just so, yeah. like, just just exhausting you know like and and obviously like the the usual suspects started to come out of the woodworks when it was shown in the new ghost game that it's a female protagonist oh. like here's here's my challenge okay if the word woke is in your vocabulary daily you then have to post four social interactions you've had in person with somebody in the last week if you cannot do that <laughs> <laughs> then you you have reserved your right to having anything to say or anything involving discourse for for entertainment at all all right if yeah. you use that word if you have anything to say about about females who exist in the real world being a protagonist of a video game or a person of color being a protagonist of a video game you then have to show proof that you have met and <laughs> spoken with a real person in, in real life in the real last life. week yeah in the last week okay you need to show Outside me of your room that, that you that, need to yeah. type from you need to show me that you've shook someone's hand okay a non, a non family member yes yeah. the, the, I, I need it's i need to know happen i need to know that you are having social interaction outside of a discord call okay like I, i'm yeah. so sick of these people it's so ridiculous it's, it's so tiring. boring it lacks nuance nobody wants to engage in discourse faithfully anymore and it's so boring it's just like get a grip on life yep. figure it out yep. like all these guys who who want to claim that they're straight are mad that they got to play as a female character in a video game uh, do we not like women what's going <laughs> yeah. on here what's going I don't on know here about you but i like being able to like, <laughs> like hey, i'm a straight guy i like being able to play as a female <laughs> character and also He's like love, cool I, love at. You know, I think i think what pisses me off is like how would these guys react if metroid came out today for the first time yeah. how would these guys oh, react yeah. be if tomb raider bullshit yeah all, but all even the tomb raider that, with a new franchise announced today how would even, these guys react even you know? in that that metroid example is the it's the prime example wow. because, hey, because hey, it's okay. like back then people were so shocked that that was a woman protagonist oh crazy to think that and we have not moved an inch because exactly nope. what you said if that happened today people would have been like what yep. this game is woke for no reason yep. they didn't even need to take off the helmet you know like so it's just like you can't win you even can't lose the, the arguments that, around like, yeah. Sorry, the arguments around ghosts too, like e even yeah. even outside of the 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 the, the brain rot, right? People are saying oh, it just looks like DLC. You know what I mean? If oh Arkham City, if yep, Arkham City just, came yeah. out today, it would get those same level of complaints. Like they're what, like. What's going on? Like I, I don't, I'm really trying to figure you, out any indication that it looks like DLC. I, I, I'm like, just trying to figure on. out. I'm trying to figure out like at, at what point did we lose like any form of nuance when we're like engaging in criticism or, or in any form of discourse surrounding our entertainment? Like, don't you want video games to be good? Don't you want the movies coming out to be good? Why are you cheering for and actively hoping that they're bad? See my my theory on that, and this is kind of even ties even to earlier this week with when we saw another news uh, or a site uh, shut down. Um, 
I, I think it's because like as as the like the 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 YouTube comment commentators have started to grow the yeah. and the and the news organization starting to shrink. It's basically one is starting to fill in that gap that we're seeing a lot more of, and it's and it's become dauntingly scary. Uh, yep. Like it is to the point now where even the ones who are still going, like the big sort of media sites, it, it's it, they've they've been able to erode the like the, the 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 trust of those sites, even though that they've been doing this for a lot longer than they have. They have professional trained, professionally trained journalists. Who are trained to do what they're supposed to do, and they think that any that all it's so simple that all they need to do is just turn on a camera and put up a YouTube video, and they can call themselves journalists. And I'm sorry if you are a YouTube channel and you do not have like it like we can like we are a, a podcast that talks about the news. We commentate on the news. We're not reporting the news. But if you are out there and you're saying that you're reporting on news, news report, I've just heard like you do not belong in this space. I don't give a shit. I I, I will bully you out of this space. I know you got we all got bullied when we were school out of out of spaces that we didn't belong that we felt like we belonged in. I will bully you out of this fucking industry that we love so much cuz we just want to play good games we want to play fun games we want to play games that developers have developed has spent years working on they poured their heart and soul into their art to only have basically like some douchebag who with a camera saying oh this character's female i'm not playing like fuck yeah. you fuck everything about yeah. you and you can go off into a corner and just live in this horse manure that you were birthed from there we go yeah. that's my angry rant there you go I don't know how to follow up with that, but yeah. I mean, great games. <laughs> Echo of Wisdom coming out tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow. Podcast, or today yeah. when the podcast yeah. drops. Yeah, that's right. And the reviews have been insane so far. I cannot wait to play. Leading, I'm actually can't wait to play too. That's leading good. There's there's a lot. Zelda, there's a the lot same. going on yeah. tomorrow. There's yeah, a there's lot, a lot, a lot of happening. Stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah, but that was so that. That. Are you getting the yeah. uh, are you getting the Zelda Switch Lite? <sighs> Boy, what looks, I no. wanted to. What, hold on. What what time do, do the, the, the controllers and all the 30th anniversary stuff go up for pre order? I don't know if I can confirm. I, I don't think they've announced it. You don't yet. have confirmation? Okay. That, okay, yeah. that's fair. It is tomorrow morning. Yeah. Well, then I'll ask this question. What riddle time me, usually, <laughs> usually, when they're putting out a controller? I, I don't know if Riley could answer that. Because I, I if I remember. Like it would, it would right? differ. It would differ. Okay. Uh, All right. I would think that. Riley, do I need this? What, well, no. What's, what time does the. Uh, <laughs> I think that banner you put no, there. No, it's not at Walmart. It's, it's oh. not at Walmart. No, the, pro, right? the, the pro, pro is not at Walmart. Is not. But, yeah. oh. The pro anniversary is not. But the pro oh. is. Uh, but uh, the pro will be. Yes. So and none of the 30th anniversary edition stuff is going to be going to be at Walmart. Like even the controller. Like no, no, we'll, no, we'll have everything but the pro. pro is not we'll have everything we'll, but the pro. We'll, we'll have the slim as well, but we won't the, have the, the, the pro okay. bundle yeah. is what buy all at Amazon. Don't buy all at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so the so the, the the pro bundle is what like Amazon, GameStop, like. I think the belief. Are you thinking of getting they the bundle? Haven't said yet. No, I, I don't think I'm going to get the bundle. They what? believe I want the bundle though. It's gonna be GameStop gonna, Canada has it. I was I gonna uh, I was gonna say Caboose in that inspired. YouTube money. What the no, fuck? I, I, I just I'll be honest, like the, again, when they you showed off the PS5, for this thing. Which I know <laughs> when they showed off the PS5 Pro, like obviously, like again, I know there's a lot of people out there that love their luxury items, but it yeah. just reassured me that like I'm I'm good. I got I got my Spider-Man covers, I got my base PS5. I got my spy, my Spider Man controller. I'm good here. You know what I mean? Like uh, yeah. I, I don't need need the just, upgrade. I would, you buy yourself I, a nice advice iPhone. For everyone. I think my I want the everyone. I want the controller. I do want that. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going all of this stuff and the cables. Is gonna be, all of this the cables are sick, but the yeah, yeah. all of this stuff is even the pet, incredibly uh, limited. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. like, yeah. said, like even the like PS5, yeah, the is the PS5 Pros everything. are like twelve thousand that are only going to be made. There's more twelve thousand well, Pros, yeah, with the with the bundle, bundle, yeah. yeah. But all the console, the portal, the controllers, it's going to be limited. Like that this portal looks cool one. too. My yeah. God, yeah. like yeah. if I didn't have it's, a portal, I'd be like, let, hey, let me let me confirm. It's cool as hell. So all of these things are going to. I I would just if you're in the if you like PlayStation. You know, I know products go live for the pro. Like the pro goes live tomorrow at 10 a.m. 
Um, that is, you're online. right. That is something that they did you, confirm. Yes. Be, be online for that. I would be online at that time. Just just for the pro. Just to watch the pro go. That makes yeah. sense. That Thank makes you sense. for clarifying. Watch it's just the for the pro. pro. Go. Yeah. For the pro. Get ready for to spend that pro. one grand, uh, everybody. Uh, minimum. Oh, the grand. That, yeah, I no, really we're, want we're, that too, man. You want that bundle? If you want that it's bundle, that it's number be up, pretty, baby. You know? <laughs> Bet, yeah. If I wasn't in if I wasn't in the market for buying an for getting an iPhone, I would totally be going for the Pro right now. Like that would that would be like one hundred percent. iPhone four K one twenty. No, I didn't even just that. I just want the anniversary edition. Like you can. Like <laughs> and this an iPhone. The, wait, there's a lot. Like, a other lot of stuff other do, question. Though. Other question. If you just buy the controller, do you get that cable, or is that cable specifically part of the bundle? I think it's just with the console. Damn. Oh, oh, man. Uh, man. People are gonna re. Freaking well, if somebody's if somebody's reselling just that cord, I might I might yeah, try and that take a look for it. You need the cord know? with the with the um the ties. memory sticks. Yeah, oh, you know, with the ties. Oh. That's pretty cool. The ties are nice. I also I, want I the paper good. clip, cause yeah, it's nice. I know Pretty Steve close. Stevie V Stevie Monday is going to go for the pro bundle. So. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think he's, he's, he's not here? He's he's like dedicating <laughs> he's, all. He's getting the a good data. night's sleep. Yeah, he's getting, <laughs> <laughs> he's getting his credit card prepped. So that's yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prepping everything. Do oh I my get, god. Oh man. Uh, I know. Yeah, I'm like. I'm, 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 I think the controller is going to be something I, I definitely will will probably go for. I'm just getting Apple Watch. You guys, good good luck to you guys. Yeah, oh, you're getting an Apple Watch. Controller. I never owned one. So this is the one I'm like. Oh, I think they really nice. should have okay. given us that cable with the controller too. They should, I know, though. right? The, yeah, these, I don't know why they won't. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Let me just clear, let, ask a clarification question for uh, Riley. Is it the the controller and the Dual Sense Edge editions? Uh, they are going to be all Walmart. All Walmart. Yeah, we'll have both okay. of those. Good, okay, good. so controller, Dual Sense Edge, the portal, the portal, yeah, the portal, and, uh, the and then. The, the slim and, the and, slim. and a okay. regular PS5 Pro, yes, all available for Walmart. Walmart. I feel go. like they should have done like covers that may not have been like these covers, but other that, that, covers that could dramatic. like snap on, yeah. And like, it, yeah. if you're poor, you still could buy something to like transform. That's what I thought that because they, they could have <laughs> easily done, they could have just like sold the covers, and I think that like, well, would've... I mean, I get having want, something, I get yeah. money. No, I know. exactly, <laughs> I know. but they could have given us another edition of the the covers the off gray that's off like gray? off gray. Mm. So that that's why they came out like, with the chroma edition because it's kind of that right. off gray it's for the poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the uh, same. Oh I know. my gosh, I, I know this controller. I know I do too. Like I thought the Astrobot controller snap like this that 30th anniversary edition like looks just slick as hell. I don't have a portal. Yeah, no, it, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. I played actually I uh, I will even I will fully admit I played my entirety of Astrobot on the portal. And it the is Astrobot is good. a very portal friendly game. Yes. In a hundred percent, it's a, it's a, it's amazing. It yeah. like if you have a good internet connection, it plays extremely well. I aren't had a they, ton of fun. Aren't they adding, or did they already add um, like browser functionality so that when you're like at a hotel, you can access? I think like, that was an update. Yeah, that was pop, an update. The yeah. pop up browser update. so that you can connect yeah. to the internet. Is that did that already go out? Yeah. Like, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I feel like that was one of the the major okay. things that the uh, the portal was missing. Yeah. Um. So whether they they've already launched it or or going to. Um, I think it's it's that that for me makes it a lot more of an enticing piece of hardware to own because now mm -hmm. it's like if you're traveling and you, and you leave that that PS5 in rest mode for just like a weekend, as long as you got like decent internet or, Dude, or even like I hotel Wi-Fi that can manage. Yeah, so that yeah. Wi-Fi thing, uh, the browser Wi-Fi, it launched the that update launched on, in uh, in June, so yeah, go. it's available now. I yeah. didn't realize the box is the box like the PlayStation, the OG box. PS1 box. Yeah. I yes. just yeah. want. The box. I know. Well, I, that, that, oh, that's gonna be a collector's the, item. For the, sure. Your, your fifteen hundred dollar box. <laughs> Two thousand dollars you guys could be spending on all. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's uh, all of the soft, all of the, like the controllers and the slim. Uh, they have like the nostalgia box too, so it's pretty cool. Oh man, but I just see, noticed that's that. My, yeah, mind, that's sorry. my problem. Yeah. It's like it's the whole disc thing and discless. Yep. It's like why am I spending that much money and yeah. I don't have a disc drive in it. And then I think does it does isn't it that the pro bundle comes with just a cover for a disk drive that you still have to then buy separately? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. So funny. 
<laughs> I know. I thought that was hilarious too. That is so funny. <laughs> so silly. Uh, trying to cut down the cost on the pro. Yeah. <laughs> then you have to buy the stand too, except with the anniversary That's true. bundle that comes with the stand. Oh, okay. And okay. and the dual sense edge, I think, and a few other things. There you go. That pro bundle. I mean that thing is like a that that's gonna fly. I, that thing will be gone in a second. Oh yeah, and to I, wait, be honest, it's, it's gonna fly because it or just keep it. Yeah, I don't think you could. I yeah. like yeah, like that's something you have to like keep boxed up forever just because I've, yeah. I'm looking at like sealed uh, PS4 20 20th anniversary consoles and they're they're selling for like thousands of dollars. Like this thing, but scalpers you know, are charging ten grand to try to buy this thing. Jesus, you know yeah. what I always wonder yeah. though is like. It, it's people are trying to sell it for that amount. Are people buying for that amount? They must. If it's the if it's the standard, then it would just yeah, sit that's there true. If, if they're mm. able to set that as a standard, I'm seeing some for like twenty five hundred. You could probably buy an unboxed one for maybe under a thousand, but even that's like double the money on the investment. So it's See, like, would you would you rather something like this be like a this would be my last question? Would this be like the like something like a go in store only option just to avoid the scalpers? I oh, think that they would still yeah. get it. Like they would line they up. They totally would. Yeah. Yeah. Like they've got. I, they've got. They've got. Line up with all the kids. Do, do they do family. that in Canada though? I don't, I don't often see people in Toronto pulling up for for stuff like this. I remember when during the PlayStation the pandemic, Five came out. The PS Five was definitely well, well when, they, when they started introducing when they started introducing it's only one per customer. That's when uh, it started to kind of die down a little bit. But mm. yeah, they can get around that by just having other people like that they yeah. would hire to to go into lines. That literally bring their kids and wife like throw like you're yeah. you're all of your bike. eight of us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Getting one. but the thing is too like i know the next switch is on the horizon it's like i can't invest this money no me neither in no. this when i know i'm probably gonna have to buy that yeah. i am going to wait to get a ps5 pro unless so for some reason sony is like very generous and is like hey we want to give you one for review or just because you're a nice person i hope that's the case i don't I, I, but i don't have any and if they don't on. then you'll know you're not a nice person exactly yeah, really I mean, nice. Very, like you know <laughs> it's, 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 you're not nice. I, I want my i want my corporations to tell me i'm a nice person than necessarily like, <laughs> imagine, like, imagine, imagine tell Sony's yourself. like hey steve we're sending you something special you know hey you hey know, uh, 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 then i know i'm a nice person a big, a big box sorry. rolls up he opens it up it's just coal <laughs> oh, well, okay yeah no, no, thanks thanks Riley uh but no I I will say that if I have to wait I will totally wait until Ghost of Yote comes out so, so I can be able to buy it then because yep. that is a game yeah, that a game. I'm yeah. ready for the Ghost of Yote play PlayStation that. cover the limited one I'm ready for the controller oh, they're gonna put out yes. for this game I, yes I'm ready for the I don't know if you can see I got my Ghost of Tsushima collection edition right there okay it's, uh, it, it's something <laughs> I wish I got into when I when like when I got there it is. Oh. Wait, 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 let me hide. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, it's not really it's not it is is not beautiful. There, 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 there you go. Back up. There you go. See the match. Yeah, see the match. There we go. There we go. It was worth it. it. All right, it was worth it. I'm back. I, yeah, I, that, that's something I wish I got in, uh, got in on when they when they first came out. But I'm like, yeah, I need it. I need it. I didn't, I didn't get in on that mask when it first came out either. I got that at Fan Expo. Shout outs to oh, I can't hey. remember the vendor's name that had it. Yeah, booth because oh. booth one fourteen on the island. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Riley, what's going on for you? I guess for the, I mean, what we we got going on. <laughs> uh. Well, <laughs> busy day. Can I get Other than tomorrow, on, what's man? on the road? Right what's going on? Oh, what's yeah. going on for the rest of the Tell week? Tell me about uh, your life. My yeah. my sleep schedule is just caked right now, so I'm just trying to like. You're gonna like, be up watching Tokyo Games go. Flow. Yeah, yeah, like I hope I'm awake for the event we're doing tomorrow, honestly, and for the launch of the PS5 mm -hmm. Pro. So I got to figure it out, but uh, that's uh, it's gonna be busy. It's Tokyo Game Show's happening. Um, we have the PS5 Pro pre-orders going live, which is gonna be a time, I'm sure. Uh, has the site ever crashed before? I can't imagine. Like, has anyone did. taken so, down Walmart before? We did. Yeah. So during the PS5 restocks, we announced the time that we were going live with the restocks ahead of time, mm -hmm. um, and it crashed the site, which is if you're Walmart, a massive problem. Because yeah. many people buy groceries and mm -hmm. everything else on it. So any downtime on that site costs a lot of money. So it makes it me wonder, awful. like, that's probably the reason, like, you don't have to confirm or deny or whatever. Uh, but I think it's probably <laughs> why that that, that they haven't announced the time because they don't want people, like, being in the queue 
and potentially crashing the site hours I, beforehand. Probably, um, and especially with the the how limited the pro bundle is going to be for this in particular. Yeah. They're all limited, but the pro bundle in particular, it's going to be yeah. it's going to be very chaotic, I would assume. So I think Man. it's going to be in and out, like it'll be over pretty quick. And I remember when the PS5 like people are going to be mad any way you try to handle that. I remember when the PS5s were like going, like go uh, pre-orders were going on sale, and I had to get mine through the real Canadian superstore, and that was uh, like a time. I had to wake up at five, like five a.m. to be able to do it, and it would like even then, I only was able to to get into it because I was able to skip the line uh, a ten minutes after it went supposedly went live, and I just did a manual search on their site for it. Yeah, and I was able to buy it that way while still keeping my place in line. And then there were people being like, "We it's twenty minutes, we can't get in. Why, why is the crew not moving?" I'm like, "It's just uh, that's what I'm hoping. That, like, it's just that that's not gonna happen tomorrow." But I remember, like, I remember we were doing story. like we were rocking like midnight launches for that. So I, I missed those. I missed midnight launches. Yeah. yeah, they were fun. They were fun to work. And last one was we'll actually uh, Zelda. I was watching Camille on my phone. True. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. I. That's my last. My last one. Thank you. There you go. Oh, what you got going on? I didn't do that. <laughs> I would of never do that. Of course you didn't. I was probably way. I do other important things. <laughs> <laughs> like get married. Yeah, like get married. <laughs> <laughs> you're engaged? You're engaged now? I now know you're married. Okay, I didn't miss that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's proof. It happened. Uh, oh me yeah okay um i'm just gonna be so well, i got a lot going on i'm not <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no i'm just gonna be playing a lot of uh the legend of zelda echoes of wisdom uh trying to get my playstation 30th anniversary ps5 don't forget you have to go out tomorrow oh, oh yeah tomorrow we're gonna see each other and Death don't Stranding. forget to bring adam showcase happening <laughs> on sunday yes yeah. Yeah. yeah oh that's right that's fun. on sunday that's yeah for right. 90 yeah. minutes of fun i can't wait and then yeah oh okay. and then i'm doing the nascar stuff's happening so yeah mm. we're we're at the end of our we do NASCAR series stuff? <laughs> 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 we're at the end of our series uh for the year and the finals are happening uh, next week at the nascar hall of fame so i'm going to be in charlotte for that <laughs> Riley, you, can right also, now, uh, you can also <laughs> deliver costco stuff too i don't know why she comes on the podcast and lies but... <laughs> nascar stuff makes like... me so angry <laughs> it's not even canadian like what like <laughs> you gotta stop doing this to caboose i'm just getting so mad <laughs> <laughs> he's hulking out He's turning green. green. <laughs> 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 oh, Steve, what's going on? I got fucking nothing. I mean, I <laughs> I just came back from TwitchCon. I got no oh, like yeah. right now. I got no content plan. Uh, I've been kind of like just like everything was just all trying to get done it like to to get to TwitchCon, and now that it's over, I'm just like. Okay, now what? Uh, so uh, I've got nothing for this week other than uh, I've, I, di I did record a special uh, Dungeons & Disabled project at TwitchCon. That's going to be coming out relatively soon. Uh, we shall see. But uh, uh, like uh, more like we'll see like when because I, I, I'm trying to line it up with the next adventure of Dungeons & Disabled. But uh, we're in the planning stages of that. So nice. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I've, like this week I have nothing. <laughs> all right. Oh, the bus. <laughs> I was like, they're skipping me. Um, I'm already so angry. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't got a whole lot going. I, I thought I was going to have some stuff going on this week if we were going to get a DLC announcement during that state of play. But I guess the rest of my week outside of seeing you guys tomorrow is pretty much going to be occupied by watching that Ghost of Yotai trailer over and over and over again. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I'm just uh, I'm hanging out. I'm playing. Uh, actually, I'm playing the new Mortal Kombat uh, DLC. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah. Noob, Noob Cybot is awesome. Cyrax mm -hmm. Sector is super fun. I'm just how I long is this jump story? I haven't jumped in yet, but I think it's it? okay. If it's anything think, like the last two one, hours. It's probably gonna be around that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. that's that's nice of them. What eight uh, eight characters was it? Or and then like 
and the sword? six six or new six characters, characters, three yeah. guests, three MK, um, yeah. and then yeah, and then a new story mode, which is awesome. Yeah. An animal. Uh, the uh, animalities. The, oh my god, they're so they're good. good. Yeah, they're they're really, really good. Try them all out. They're yeah. so much fun. Try try out Lee Mays. You'll be cracking up. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's that's free. Oh, to all yeah, characters, yeah. Which yeah. Is awesome. And uh, I, I did see Peacemakers. Peacemakers is great too. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. And yeah. Omni Man's. Oh, that was so. Yeah, awesome. there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of good ones in there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to catch up on all the games that came out. Terry Bogard's out there as well, so yeah. I can try him out as well. So, and uh, we'll see you all here uh, next week. All right, have a good one. Peace. Bye.